afternoon good evening to you wherever you happen to be in the world captain coder here on this beautiful b-e-a beautiful i almost said monday saturday folks i can't get the days right i never can get the days right my brain just can't handle it. every day is a beautiful day how am i supposed to remember which day is a beautiful day if they're all beautiful days so wonderful to see you here on this beautiful day today's a very special very special day you don't want to know why it's a very special day. does anyone know why it's a very special day sky driver hi ho sky driver how you doing friend great to have you here great to have you who knows why today is a special day today's a very special day because of reasons because of reasons code monk congratulations on your number one my friend congratulations on your number one. kuwani great to have you here as well moon is thank you for the raid are you almost ready for the thing today choking it's sunday for me you're upside down my friend your feet are count like contrapunnel contrapunnel to my feet you're we, we are doing smt with moon is that's right we're doing smt we're doing smt proton number 11 you know you're great my friend proton welcome back to the stream g i hope you're having a beautiful day Thank you so much for hanging out with us. We are doing something with Moon is. This has been in the makings. This has been in the works. And it's, it's you know, considering how long we've been talking about doing this, I'm a little, you know, I'm excited for it. But it's 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 taken many different forms. Many different forms, folks. We are going to be doing a mechanically challenged. Mechanically challenged today. Moon is and I are going to be introducing mechanically challenged, which is, a, which is a challenge for all of you beautiful, wonderful, amazing folks out there. XTC, welcome back to the stream. Great to have you here on this beautiful day. Spam, ah, I gotta fix my what command. Oh no, oh no, I did it. I got, oh, she, uh, 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 gotta fix my what command. Hang on, let's fix the what command. What command, where'd you go? What command, how could I have forgotten the what command? Oh dear. Oh dear, Smab, thank you for thank you for your help there. Thank you for helping me out. Hang on. Let's <laughs> that was an incident. Let's fix that. My chat come hang on. We gotta fix that. What are we doing today, folks? It's not it's not well, maybe later. Maybe later we'll be doing some. But let me let's fix that here one second. What would a cap today? Today we are intro introducing mechan mecha 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 mechanically challenged there we go and then i have a whole little little spiel here let me copy paste some of this uh well, it, mechanically challenged a, a community event boom let's copy and paste this chunk in there boom 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 save it save it first try first time moon is we got moon is here with us folks moon is Let's see, we, we gotta click the got it button. Moon is, can you, uh, uh, one sec, folks. Let me see if we get Moon is here. Let's let's click the button. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, let's do it, let's do it. Away we go, Wee! there's Moon is. Hello, Moon is. Let's see, can, let's see if we can get people to hear you. Can people hear the Moon is? Hello, hello. Can, can how's, the, how's Moon is volume? I can crank you up. You are very low uh, on my end. You should be able to adjust up to 200% as well cuz it's, it's like my mic uh setting there. I can also let's I can also maybe potentially possibly it's a bit low for moonness. Let me turn up moonness some more too. Um how's my is my volume normal? It, uh, let's try moonness. Moonness, can you try talking now? Hello. Hello, hello. I am here. I am uh, I am moonness. I think I can crank it up me. even more. How's that? Hello, hello. Hello. I feel like it's doing nothing when I crank up your volume. Hang on, hang on. I know why. There we go. Try now. Hello, hello. Can anyone hear me? Yeah, I, for, I think we got it now. I think we got it now. There we go. Success. Yes, we can hear you. Moon is... Wonderful. Folks, you guys, no, is the... Is, Moon is... 
I can't remember if um, I'm pretty sure you came up with this idea I initially. Came, I, I I remember thinking that hey, Moonez, we should do something together. I've been wanting to collab with yeah. Moonez for like a year. Then Moonez was like, and I was like, I don't know what to do. And Moonez suggested mechanic. Oh, look, we got a little logo here too. Moonez was like, <laughs> why don't we do? something with game dev i was like, okay i like game dev moon is for anyone who doesn't know moon is this guy over here is a, a professional game developer full-time game dev that's his full-time job it's your monday to friday job or is it monday through sunday it's uh monday through friday um a normal 40-hour work week a 40-hour work week job making yep. games that's pretty sweet that's a sweet gig you got there um, and, uh, so we decided to do something together. Um, we, we talked a little bit about like, how would we make this work? We want to enter, we want to, we want to teach people, you know, guys know I want to teach people stuff. Munin wants to teach people stuff too. How do we teach people, uh, game dev without overwhelming them? And so we came up with, uh, Moon is really came up with the idea. Why don't we do something where we teach, we, we have people implement one mechanic at a time. Implement one command. I don't have an SO command, G. I do have a, a moon niz command, though. Um, there's a moon well, at the command. At the start, it was uh, just you and me that was going to create the mechanics and then show them off and talk about them. But then we decided to uh, share it with the community and let everyone join in. That's right. That's right. So originally, it was just going to be moon niz and I. Uh, competing against each other to implement a, the, a, a game mechanic. And then I felt like that was way too unfair because Moon is, has taught me everything <laughs> I know about game dev. And Moon is would just keep winning. And, you know, I'm kind of tired of all the winning. I'm Moon is, are you tired of all the winning? You can't be because you keep winning. You keep no, beating me no. at everything. Moon is can't see. And so I was just afraid. At first, I was afraid. I was petrified. And then, and then. Uh, one second here. Boom. Oh, oh, I typed the wrong word. Let's try again. Thank you. Thank you so I much for it. that, Moonis. I typed Bane instead of Ban. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I was, you are, Elena, you are the Bane of my existence. Well, um, there we go. And so what we, what we ended up on was, why don't we do a thing where it's actually a community... Uh, competition isn't quite the right word, but a community event where the com members of the community implement game mechanics in their game engine in their language in their tool set and then we can compile it all together into one repository so that way anyone could go find those resources and so that's where mechanically challenge is born so what is mechanically mechanically challenge is a monthly challenge we'll see how monthly it becomes we'll find out we'll we'll see we'll see how <laughs> look it took us like <laughs> How many, it was like 14 months in the a making. Yeah. yeah, this mechanically challenged is a 14, once every 14 months. Well, no, no, monthly, hopefully, in which uh, we in the community recreate different mechanics found in games. You're free to implement in any game engine or however you want to join. You're going to fork this repository and upload your mechanic. And the goal is to recreate one of these, class. hopefully, I think we're going to start with a bunch of the classic classic game mechanics each month we're gonna try and do a new mechanic but this month is doing drop through platforms drop through platforms might be you know a little tricky i don't know i've actually never heard i look at this go like you know what that as as a person who's been doing game dev for about a year now going like you know what it's may not it, it it feels like an obvious mechanic but i'm not actually quite sure how i would implement this just yet i have some ideas but it actually feels a little bit tricky a little bit tricky so you have a plat because doing platforms in and of the moment you in, in most game engines it's too bad so you have a platform here and you have a character that needs to be able to stand on top of the platform but also be able to do a fall through you press down and jump and your character falls through the platform lands beneath it and then needs to be able to jump back up through so it's like a one directional platform that can become two directional under the right conditions. So I'm not, I personally am not 100% sure what's the best way to implement this, what's the, the simplest way, what's the most straightforward way to implement it. I'm not sure. I'm honestly not sure. And that's why we've created Mechanically Challenged so that we can get different people to sh do an implementation of their own and then try and explain it to us. Create a little pull request, 
add it to our repository, create a, so maybe you're using Unreal, maybe you're using Godot, maybe you're using Unity, maybe you're using Stride, maybe you're using Construct, maybe you're using Game Maker, or whatever you are using, we want you to go and make an implementation, submit it here, add it to our repository. If you need help getting it added to a repository, we're going to go through that process a little bit today, how to fork, how to create your folder structure, how to create a pull request, and then you will be able to submit it. We might, uh, one little note is all the submissions are going to be licensed under MIT. So it's open source for anyone to use. And then Moon is and I are each going to select our favorite implementation, um, our educational mechanic prize, and you will be awarded $50 each. So two, two of our submissions are going to be winning $50 each. And I'm so excited to bring this out to the community. Sorry, I, 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 I use a lot of air, Moon, as I apologize. <laughs> it's fine. I'm not as good as a talker as you are. Uh, I want to uh, say that even though the mechanic is in 2D in the image, in the GIF, yeah. it's um, not required to be 2D in this case, unless we specify that it's 2D. Uh, there are games in 3D where you can do the same thing and also yeah. drop through platforms. So it's, uh, it's not limited to 2D. Not limited to 2D, I like, yeah, so not 2D, it can be 3D, it could be 4D, it could be 7D. If you make it into some kind of, you know, platform rhythm game, no, 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 we're going to keep it simple. Don't You don't even have to build a whole game, just build a little demo of this simple mechanic. And the, the, the goal here, for me, the, what I am looking for personally, for the, the person who I will award, the, the submission that I'm hoping to find is going to be the simplest solution possible that is also feels like it is mods to be added in. Oh, we got the first hat redeem. Hang on, Moonis. I gotta get my hat box set up. Hang on, <laughs> Moonis, you're in charge. Give me a second. Uh, hello. I'm not good at being in charge. I'm gonna. Yeah. I'm back. That's about it. <laughs> Sorry, Moon is. Moon is, you got your hat box with you? You I <laughs> do not. Your hats together? Okay, well, I'll put one on for like each one of hat. us. I'll put on one for each of us. There we go. There we go. Thank you for the hat, Redeem. <laughs> Zoom that camera out. Joking. Thank you for the hat, Redeem. Here we go. Here we go. Now, things are about to get crazy. Maybe. <laughs> the hat redeem <laughs> thank you for the hat so redeem hats. tani thank you for i think that we did we did, did we, with three hats three hats shiny tani xtc thank you for the hat redeem oh xtc doesn't have enough points to get it off <laughs> get, oh there we go the end game for the hat redeem <laughs> joking with the bonus at dimples oh, wow. with the, with the extra, oh, i can't keep up there we go Whew. Whew. Well, that, that this this attilated quickly. Oh my goodness! There's so much happening. Let's get another hat added to this stack. There we go. All right, perfect. All right, thank you for all the hats. Woo! We done did it. We done did it. All right, Moon is now that's all our hats are on. Mm. Oh yeah. Got to drink that bean water to prep my neck for, for all this weight. All this weight here. Beings, welcome back to the chat. All right, Moon, sorry, I think I interrupted you. Um, no, no, you didn't. Um, I had no idea what I was going to talk about when you were gone. Um, so it's perfect. All right. So for anyone who's just joining us, we are presenting Mechanically Challenged. We're gonna, uh, Mechanically Challenged is a community um, event to help others learn how to implement game mechanics, as well as to practice implementing the game mechanic yourself. This month, you are tasked with implementing drop through platforms in a 2D or 3D environment, or if you can somehow figure out 4D, that'd be pretty cool. I don't know what that really means. What does that mean? Who knows? I don't. And if you wanna participate, we're gonna walk you through that process now. If you want to participate, here are the steps. First, you're going to fork this repository. So the idea is that you're going to take your mechanic, you're, you're going to take this mechanic, you're going to implement it, and you're going to add it to this repository. So this is going to be a repository 
for for everyone's solution. So if someone wants to go understand how do I implement drop through platforms, they can come here and say, oh, here's an unre here's two Unreal solutions. Here are two Unity solutions. And Moonus and I are each gonna submit a solution of our own. Moonus, I can't win, just so you know. I can't pick Moonus. This can't be, this isn't like Moonus no. picks me, I pick Moonus. Like, <laughs> oh, I can't win, I can't win. Yeah, Moonus, you win too much. You win too much. No more winning for you. Um, so you're gonna start off by forking this repository. Apparently, okay, so you're gonna come up to the top here, and you're gonna select fork at the top. I think I might need to make a segment. Okay, fork. You're gonna come down, you're gonna, you probably only have one. I have, I have a couple ones. You're gonna fork it out to your, uh, mechanically challenge is available. Is it telling me that I can't fork this because it's my own? There we go. So you're gonna create a fork of it. Okay, so now you have your own personal repository, SMAB, awesome. Are you gonna implement a Blazor implementation? Get your own fork of this. So a GitHub fork means you have access to all of the data there. You can pull, push and pull. You can pull from that original repository, okay? Now you're gonna clone that repository down to your own system. Let me get that open up here. Using the tools of your choice, I happen to like Visual Studio Code and the terminal. Okay, so this is gonna be where I put my solution. I'm gonna go into my git. Uh, sorry, let's get to my d git Captain Coder org. We're gonna clone this repository. Okay, I'm planning to implement mine in C sharp using Raylib, so like a pure C sharp implementation. Um, I don't have GH installed, unfortunately, Smab. But if if you do, all right, if someone does, you can get it that way. Let's see here. Um, this was mechanically challenged. All right, so now I can open up this repository here. I'm gonna close this here. So I have this repository. All right, so that's step one. Step one, you're gonna fork the repository. Now inside of this repository, I'm gonna create the following structure. I'm gonna say my engine name, my language name, and then my username. So I am gonna be doing my solution in Raylib. Maybe you're doing it in Godot 3, Godot 4, C Sharp. Maybe you're doing it in GD Script. Maybe you're doing it in Game Maker language. Whatever you're doing. Okay. Can fork, clone, and set up remotes in one step? Very nice. We might have to take a look at that. All right, so now that I have this here, I'm going to create a new folder. I'm gonna use mine in Raylib. Do mine in Raylib. And then inside of that, I need to make another folder. I'm gonna do mine in C sharp. Oh, I should just name this Raylib. Raylib. And then inside I have C sharp. And then finally, just in case two people do Raylib, two people do C sharp, and then finally the captain coder. And then this is where I'm gonna put my solution. I'm gonna put my solution in here. So I go into that folder, Raylib, C sharp, the captain coder. And I'm gonna create my solution here. Make sure to include any git ignore you might need. Username could be whatever you want your username to be, Tony. Good question. Whatever you want your username to be. So note if, if I push this, it's gonna have all this extra stuff. I'm gonna use a git ignore to make sure I'm ignoring any. So if you're doing Unity, make sure you use a Unity git ignore. If you're not familiar with GitHub and using those tools, be sure to ask on the Discord. We'd be happy to help you guys get set up. This is supposed to be a learning process. So maybe you're learning how to use GitHub. Maybe you're learning how to use Unreal. Maybe you already have a tool and engine and you're just going for that prize money. Give me, give me that money. You know, whatever you're going for, that's okay. The idea is to share with the community. So I'm doing git ignore here. And I have another, and, and I'll just add in my bin and OBJ for now. So make sure you leave all your crufty files out. If you go to do a pull request, we'll probably tell you to, to lose some of those files. We'll add these in here. I'm gonna do a commit. Added my solution. And of course, it's not a full solution yet. Push that up here. So now on my, my forked repository, I have some changes. I have some changes. At this point, I'm going to create a pull request back to the original project. Okay. 
this is your back to your project. Let us know a little bit about what you did. Let us know. I would like to opt in for the grand prizes. Create a pull request. Moon is and I will come in, we'll review, we'll make sure you have the file structure right. We'll make sure that your code actually does what you think it does, and we'll verify it. it can help us if you end your README file, add what what you did, maybe a little video of it. Maybe you can even make a little YouTube video or or something to explain your solution. Any if you really want to go for that prize, doing that will help us determine. And then uh, and I don't even have a mechanic for walking on a platform. Smab, I know that's what I'm going like, oh, and Raylib, I'm going to have to implement a platform for sure. I'm going to have to implement that. And so that could be part of the fun, right? Part of the fun is like, this is where you start seeing, oh, if I use a game engine, a lot of this stuff already exists. If I'm not using a game engine, I have to put a little bit of scaffolding around it. How do I keep that scaffolding as simple as possible to explain how I am doing it. Mango Yacht, Yogurt, Yogurt, Mango Yo GT. I'm gonna go with Mango Yo GT. Mango Yo GT following me today. I started up too low. Mango Yo GT, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream, happy to have you here. So we have this pull request in, and I think, I think that was it. I think that was it, one second. Let me go check this original thing here. Ah! Boom. All right, so step one, I created a fork. I created my folder. I did my implementation. I created a pull request. Now you wait. You wait for us to check your solution. Something happens. Profit. Profit. Boom. Easy peasy. Do we have to rebuild the wheel from scratch or can we use usual control C, control V, shenet against? Uh, so you need to own the rights to what you're doing. And so control C, control V shenanigans may, it depends on how much control C, copy and pasting you're doing. Um, that said, a lot of, you know, you have to be able to license it under MIT license. So everything's going to be open source. Mango, no problem. Welcome to the stream. You're not interrupting anything. Maybe a little bit. I don't, I don't, I don't consider interrupting. I mean, this is a, uh, this is a live format. Um, yeah, create a draft PNT. Are you ready to submit? Absolutely, absolutely. But Moon is and I will come in. We'll review your work, get you added in here. So, <clears throat> your submission to be you can submit anytime you want in the future, but to be eligible for the prize, you must submit before May first. May first. So this is a one month challenge. We'll be trying. We're going to be trying to do a new one every month. We're going to be trying to do a new one every month. Um, so with that in mind, are there any questions? Probably, probably. I hope uh, it, it, I'm trying, we tried to keep it relatively simple, relatively simple. Um, but that is, that is our plan. That's the idea here. And I'll be talking about this all month. Go in there, try and get your solution, uh, get your implementation so that uh, we can have this with the entire community. We can have a bunch of different implementations of this. People can look at it. Uh, the judging criteria is at the sole discretion of the judge. Sole discretion of the judge. Um, this makes it a little bit easier so we don't have to. And I, so, so let me tell you what I'm gonna be looking for and then Munas can tell you what he's gonna be looking for. I personally am looking for ease of use. So how easy is your solution to understand? Is it modular? Can it be used in multiple places? And um, yeah, ease of use, can it be used in multiple locations? And then does it actually implement it? Um, so that is sort of my judging criteria. Um, Moon is, what is your judging criteria? Well, I'm gonna look at um, like how simple the code is because a lot of time people do make the code way too complex for what it needs to be. Yeah. And I want a simple solution and like a clean solution that also handles a lot of uh, different use cases. Yeah, I like that, I like that. Bonus if you make a little video or a little write-up explaining how it works and how you might integrate it somewhere else as well. Um, code market doesn't have to be a full project, but it should be something, it could be just a code snippet for a Unity project, but if you do that, you need to explain how to set it up and how to use it. So you'd want to have maybe a video to go along with it. Whoa. Phil Barracks, whoa, Phil. 
Barracks raiding me. We got Phil Barracks coming in. Phil Barracks, how are you? Phil Barracks, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome to the stream. We are doing mechanically challenged today. We're talking about the first, the first ever mechanically challenged. Folks, give Phil Barracks a follow. Thank you so much for being here, my friend. Um, did I miss anything, Muniz? I know this is we're, we're I know this is a lot. I don't think so. I think you covered pretty much everything. Yeah, we got it. We got it. So that's that's the idea. That's the idea. No worries, Phil. Have a beautiful day. We'll see it. We'll see you soon. We'll see you soon. <clears throat> but yeah, that's the main idea here is can we create a repository full of examples for implementing a variety of mechanics? We're going to be trying to do a new mechanic every month. Um, it might turn in every two months. Hopefully it's every month, maybe every two months. We'll see what happens. Um, but we have one for April. Um, Royal C-Dub, great to see you, my friend. Welcome to the stream. All right, welcome back to the stream. I hope it makes sense. I'm thinking of using Godot, so my understanding is that I should submit the full Godot project even with some example assets showing the solution. Exactly, exactly. It doesn't have to be the full Godot project. If it's not the full, if it's not, so this is where like things might get a little bit spicy is if we have a bunch of Unreal Unity projects all in one repository, the, the checkout process might be huge. We're, this is our first go at it. So we're gonna, we're gonna massage it out. We'll see how this one feels. We might end up making multiple repositories, but uh, go for it. Um, the idea being that your solution should be something that other people can use to learn how to implement the mechanic the way you did it. Real C dub Pi game, awesome. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Because I don't know that we're going to have a whole lot of Pi game submissions. It'll be great to have a Python solution for it. Go for it. I love that idea. Chill King, I don't like understand any of this. Oh, sorry, Moonis, go ahead. Yeah, uh, if you make a build and upload it to HIO, uh, that would be preferable as well. So you Ooh. don't have to put a build in the GitHub repository. Um, it could be a web build or a like a PC Mac build. Just that you have a build somewhere that we can try and play that would be uh, preferable. So you don't have to actually open every project and build every solution. That's going to take quite some time. Yeah. Tani says, can I make a tutorial blog thing about it in the teeny tiny case someone decides to use it? Absolutely. That would be particularly helpful, in my opinion, for the judging criteria. Again, how simple is it? How easy is it to reproduce by writing a little tutorial to go with it? I personally think that makes it easier to understand and easier to use. Um, all right. We got a hat redeem. Sorry, I missed that. Let's get another hat added to this stack here. Get this hat on here. We're gonna secure this in place real quick. Let's get the get the hat strap. There we go. Nice and secure. Nice and secure. Yeah, Chill King. It's kind of like a game jam, but you're not implementing the whole game. You're just implementing one mechanic. One mechanic. Um, Royal C Dub. What are we doing? You are your the plan. The goal is to implement the game mechanic of falling through platformers. Uh, so in a platformer, you have a platform like this. The character can stand on top of it. If they press down and jump at the same time, they fall through the platform below it, but they can then jump back up, passing through the platform and end up on top of it again. So you have these one directional platforms. So you can fall down. You, it, the, the, the platform only stops you from falling. Uh, it, oh, sorry, sorry. The platform <clears throat> stops you from falling normally, but there is a condition under which you can fall through it. And then moving up through it is also a condition. So it's a it's a kind of a little tricky, um, little tricky coding problem here to make this work properly. It's a very common one. So you'll see it here in this dead cells example. The player can fall through this platform, but then can jump back up through it. So your goal is to implement a small example of how to do this in an engine or coding language of your choice. Yeah, that's it. That's all you have to make, Chill King, is a, a, a demonstration of this. Um, 
Yeah, and so it's Royal C Dub. That's how I feel. I'm like, I kind of have an idea of how to make it work, but how can I keep it as simple as possible? How can I make other people use uh, get it to work? Um, uh, Tony says, I'm seeing this as an as the art doesn't matter, only the mechanic. That's exactly right. Just make a square. If you want to make it a little fancier, you can, but keep it as simple. Um, we could create some assets. That's a good idea. I think we originally had talked about making some assets for it um, or getting some assets. Maybe we should get um, an artist involved in next month so we can have them make some some assets or we can just find some an open game art or something to use. The problem with making assets though is that if you're going 3D, then that would be different mm. from 2D. And that's true. depending on the mechanics, it could be a lot of assets needed. That's a good point. That's a good point. Chill King, if you made a video showing how to do it, I think that would put has a lot of potential to increase your chances to win the prize. Um, yeah. Smap says, I will definitely target Blazer to make it tricky. Awesome. Awesome. It can be 2D or 3D. It doesn't have to be 2D. Great questions. Um, a video or a blog would be really helpful to explain the steps on how it works. Um, Tawny, okay, good. That's a really good question. You can do an implementation more than once. So let's say you do it in Unreal, then you do it in Unity, then you do it in Godot. You could make three different entries, but that only enters you once. You can only win one time. So Moon is an, and I cannot select the same person. And by entering multiple times, it doesn't really increase your chances. Um, I guess it kind of does if one of those happens to be really, really good. Um, but you can only win once. That's a great question. I think I put that down in the eligibility section. Yes, you did. Yeah, so for legal reasons, uh, to win, you have to create a submission and share it under MIT license. Be eligible to receive cash prizes in your country. Opt in during the submission process and have a PayPal uh, to receive the prices. Um, I think somewhere I said only, oh, no, only one entry per person. So you can only opt in to win once. So MIT license is an, a common open source license that just says, hey, I'm distributing this so that anyone can use it um, as long as they distribute this license with it as well. So any person is free to use it, obtain a copy of it, and distribute it themselves by all by contrib by creating a pull request into this repository you're automatically being put under that same mit license yes chill king you can use any asset that you have the legal right to use so if it's an open source asset you can absolutely use it great question tawny that's exactly the spirit that i want don't focus on winning Focus on learning and sharing with the community. That's exactly what I want people to do. That's exactly what we're trying to go for is creating a repository of a place where people can learn how to do these things. Cool, cool. Great questions. Awesome, awesome questions. I hope it's making more sense here. And we'll be talking about it all month. And uh, be, I know, I think Moon is might even be doing his implementation on his stream. I might do mine too. I'm a little too scared, I think, to do it on stream. I'm going to have to take some time off stream, uh, build it up. Um, 100 acres, great to see you. <clears throat> this is a cool idea. Yeah, I'm happy to explain it again. And we'll probably be chopping up this stream into a video to do some of the highlights of the questions and, and whatnot. But mechanically challenged you. Let me do this one more time. Uh, we have the MC command. Oh, let me pin the message. Great. Mechanically challenged is the goal is to get as many examples of a single mechanic as possible. Because we so often people come to my, my stream and say, hey, in my game, I'm trying to do X. In my game, I'm trying to do Y. And I'm not that much of a game developer. I've only been doing it a little while. But I know Moon is gets this a lot. I know a lot of other streamers get this a lot. It'd be great to have a central place say, hey, here's where we do it. And when people come in and ask for a new mechanic, we say, oh, let's add that to the list of mechanics we can do next month. 
And the idea is to get a bunch of different game devs, a bunch of different people learning to implement it. And then we'll have one for Unreal. We'll have one for Unity. We'll have one for Godot. We'll have one that's just like a raw Rust implementation on how to do these different mechanics. Exactly, Shitey. Exactly. And then also to make it a little bit, uh, a little bit, you know, got to get that incentive out there. Maybe I shouldn't have done the prize incentive, but it's just... Look, it's hard for me to ask people to do something for nothing. So, so we do have a little bit of a prize down here. Moon is and I each get to select our favorite, our favorite implementation. The the it, the selection process at the sole discretion of the judge. So, so whatever Moon is thinks is the coolest or best implementation, Moon is gets to pick one, and then I get to pick one as well. Um, but I don't want the focus to be on making like the awesome tutorial. I want it to be. Uh, yes, Mab, I'm worried about having it. <laughs> so, Smab, I think we're probably going to do a different repro every Every month we'll do a, di a different repository. We'll see how this month goes. Yeah. We will probably, we might even set up to where your pull request into the repository has to be a link to a different repository or something. We'll see what this month looks like because I imagine it will get get a little bit uh, 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 bloaty, bloaty. So we're going to see... We're, we're, we're filling out the waters. Yeah, I was thinking that if we have like 10 Unreal Engine uh, examples in there, that would be a lot of uh, gigabytes to uh, to fork. Yeah. So we probably need to figure something out regarding that. Yeah. I don't know the exact solution yet. We might have to build some sort of custom solution somehow, um, but it might also make sense. The one of the reasons to do it as a fork is so that way you don't lose access to that code what we may need to do is have we'll figure it out uh, a code snippet we might have to have some them submit like a, a readme explaining how to do it along with code snippets and like screenshots um but we'll see how this month goes and then uh we'll, we'll iterate we're iterate it's all about improving as we go, right? Patty Wax, thank you for the hat. Redeem, let's get another hat on this stack here. Uh oh, the corn hat's not gonna fit nicely up on top of these. Oh boy. I picked, I chose poorly. This was the wrong hat to put here. We're gonna end up with a, a stack falling over any moment. Patty Wax, I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to the stream. Awesome. Moon is any any final thoughts? Yeah. No, I think you covered most of it. Um, yeah, I'm just really happy to uh, to finally start this. We have been talking about it for over a year, and uh, way too long, it's yeah. happening. Yeah, so uh, we were actually planning to start this in like May or uh, June last year, but we didn't for reasons. <laughs> I don't know. It, it, busy things got crazy. Yeah. I was moving. Um, you know. You know, busy stuff. I know. I know you've got a you 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 switch jobs. All kinds of stuff is going on, but we're finally making it happen. Um, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. Tani asks, according to you, which one is the better approach? Bare bones, just the mechanic required with the minimum amount of things in it, or an open, more open with additional function as you would have game approach? I personally think we'll see what happens. But I in, in this this is subject to change. I personally think a bare bones, just the required mechanic is probably the best way to go. With yeah. maybe a little bit of an addendum saying, this is how you might integrate it into an already existing or a bigger thing, but showing just the mechanic itself and mo m trying to keep it as modular as possible and reusable as possible. If you add in a lot of other things, it will be hard to judge your uh, mechanic alone uh, exactly. and read the code. Exactly. Awesome. Wonderful. I'm hyped. I'm hyped. I don't know if you guys can tell. So am I, I always seem hyped, but I'm extra hyped today. I will be creating an entry on stream um, probably next weekend. Sweet. Sweet. I'm glad to hear it. Okay. Yep. Well, in that case, Moon is, you're welcome to hang out. I'm probably going to be doing more Dungeon Crawler <laughs> stuff. Um, yeah, I'm going to hang out. But I know you've been streaming for a couple hours already. Um, yep. So if you want to head out, um, 
I'm gonna head out. Take Have care, a beautiful everyone. Day. Thank you so much for joining me. Thanks for uh, um, for having me. Yeah, yeah, and, and I appreciate uh, all your. Moon has put this, put the pretty much put this whole thing together. I slapped some pictures in here, added in the, a little prize information. But Moon is did most of the work, so everyone, thank you so much. Give Moon is a huge thanks. Um, I appreciate you so much. <laughs> all right, Moon is have a beautiful day. Have a good one. Bye bye. Bye. All right. Fabulous stuff. It'd be fabulous. And of course, if you have any questions throughout the month, feel free to ask. Feel free to ask. Um, post on the Discord. Oh, I should. We need to add a link to the Discord here. This should have a link to the Discord to join and ask questions. Let me do. Maybe we should add that real quick. Should absolutely have um, a link to the Discord. Um, mechanically challenged. Let's do that real quick. Moon is do. Let's see. I think there might have already been a link to uh, both our discords. Um, let's add a, a questions section. Where can I want? Where can I learn more? Discords. You. Um, my backspace button's not working. That's weird. There it goes. Discord uh, slash community. Join us on Discord um, to ask questions slash uh, chat with the community. We'll link to Captain Coders and Moon Niz. We should probably have one Discord, one place to discuss this. Uh, Moon is Discord. Captain Coders Discord. I should probably add a section to the Discord just for it. Um, that's okay, Royal CW. You can also ask questions here on Twitch, which is totally fine. I'll have to include the project file, or can I build it and put it on Twitch? You can build it and put it on Twitch. Your pull request needs to contain um, enough source code and enough information to reproduce the project if someone wants to reproduce the mechanic. That's right, Moon is. That makes sense. We would make a new Discord. I don't know that we'll need to do that anytime soon, but that would make sense. Um, let me grab um, a link to. I can invite people to my Discord. I can't invite them to your Discord, I don't think. There we go. And can I invite people to yours? I can't. Oh, I can. Interesting. All right, apparently I can do that. If you have a different Discord link, of course, Moon, as you know, you can change that. Chore update Discord links. Or add Discord links, probably what I said. All right. Wonderful, beautiful stuff. I appreciate everyone being here. I hope you guys are all as excited as I am for Mechanically Challenged. I'll just include all the project files not built and the project built. That's a, that, that should work too. Just make sure any, like, if, if you're not familiar with Git Ignores, make sure you include a Git Ignore file, which will filter out any unnecessary uh, files. Mango, thank you for being here. Um, I hope you I hope you're up to the challenge. I hope you're up to the challenge. Feel free to join the Discord, chat with community, and hang out with us. I am so excited for it myself. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, I am also very excited for it. There is someone coming along here today. I'm supposed to be playing a game, one of their games. Um, once they get here, we'll see uh, what happens if they get here. They're just not here yet. Okay. Uh, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome, Kodemuk. Thank you for accepting the challenge. Thank you for accepting the challenge. All right. So what are we going to do now? What are we going to do now? Uh, yeah, thank you so much for joining, Kodemuk. I would like to 
I think I would like to continue playing dungeon crawler entries. Um, I know someone is supposed to be joining the stream in a little bit to share their entry with me. So they made an entry with their son. Their seven year old son made an entry with them for the game jam. So I, they, they wanted someone to play it. So I'm planning to play that one here in a little bit. Uh, Tony says, yesterday I was having trouble with Godot, so I thought I should just switch back to Unity. I downloaded and make a project. It took me 50 minutes just to make the project. I mean, it crashed in the first 10 minutes of me. We're going to back to Godot. I will say Godot is incredibly lightweight. Incredibly lightweight. Corfliss, great to have you here, my friend. I'm incredibly excited for Mechanically Challenged. It's going to be super awesome. Shiny. Three-hour cooldown. Sorry, my friend. Sorry, but as a, as a team, you can you can you can do it. So thank you for the pat. Thank you for the pat. All right, everybody. I'm gonna take a quick break. I know it's it's super early for a break. We're gonna take a quick break. We're gonna switch into dungeon crawler mode. We're gonna switch into dungeon crawler mode. We're gonna be play testing a couple more dungeon crawler entries today uh, for the DC Jam. So hang tight. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back. Captain Coder will return uh, momentarily.
All right, everybody, Captain Coder's back. Hope you didn't miss me too much. I missed you, but it's time. We're back at it. We got a lot of games to rate. We got a lot of games to play. We got a lot of entries to get through. We have rated 38 entries. We still have about, I'm not sure exactly how many the non-web ones we've done, but we got at least, I'm gonna try and get to 100 this year. So there's 124 that we haven't rated. I'm gonna definitely rate all the ones that can be played in the browser. Anyone that has played one and adds it to the queue using Express Point Q, we will also play. Um, so we've played through, I think most of the people who want to see this played or can make it to my stream have added theirs to the queue. We've played quite a few of those, but we're just gonna be working our way through more of the web browser ones that we have not yet rated. So I'm gonna go to the web browser. I'm gonna select least rated, and we're just gonna keep chunking our way through these unless someone wants me to play a specific one. For example, Code Monk, thank you for the welcome back, by the way. If you have played one that you think is particularly awesome and you want me to check it out, feel free to send it to my way. And that goes for anyone. That goes for anyone. Also, if you have any questions, exclamation point Q to add those to our queue up there. We'll get those questions in. We'll talk about it but we're switching gears here because i got a lot of games to get through in a short time to get there got a long way to go in a short time to get there um, but we're gonna try and get it all get it all through we try and get through all of them all right so we're gonna start with final nail today we're doing final nail um let's get a lit let's add let's tag this in there Ooh, it's super super big all right Final nail, final nail. Let's go ahead and pin that up to the top if it'll let me. It won't let me, that's okay. Let's see, well, let me pin it over here. There it goes, that side let me pin it. Okay, uh, final nail, let me add a timestamp here. Final nail, entry, video, and add a timestamp here. Final nail, 10601. At 10601. Final nail. The web version takes really long to load. I'm gonna just download it. Let's see what happens. It's because it's a good dough game. Okay, let's see what it says. You are a gravekeeper fulfilling your mortal punishment on to the dungeon god. You must pass by the un, pass by the many undead adventurers who lost their lives to the dungeon and return them to the grave. It's too bad that the uh, web build is so uh, so challenging here. I will go ahead and let's go ahead. Um, oh, my whole web browser locked up here. Yeah, I'm not a fan of having to download arbitrary things. We'll try the web build one more time. Oh boy, completely locked up that, that browser tab. Uh, Codemuck, what is the consensus among professional gender colors like you on using A and D for turning and CUNY for strafing on the other way around? I think the general consensus, is a good question. I think the general consensus is that Q and E should be for turning. So let me go show you um might and magic um zine these are good screenshots you'll see here most of the classic dungeon crawling games have an interface that looks like this with the controls uh like that and so because of the way it's arranged on the screen most of the classic dungeon crawlers actually don't use QWEASD. Most of the classic dungeon crawlers were keyboard only, maybe you had mouse, but used the number pad on it. So you'd actually have um, eight keys. I, I think that's the default in the Might and Magic games actually, is you have a number pad and your controls look like this. And so I think in Might and Magic, you actually, so what is it, eight, uh, so, so that'd be seven, eight, nine, uh, five, sorry, four, five, six. And so this would be typically how you're playing with your right hand rather than your left hand. I know a lot of people struggle to play with QWEASD uh, in general. 
uh, when they're doing dungeon crawlers if they're used to playing the old ones. And it's just modern times. People have gotten so used to first person shooters that, that they do it this way. Magnus, welcome back to the stream. Wonderful to see you on this beautiful, beautiful Saturday. I hope you're having a beautiful Saturday. But this is why we tend to use Q&E for Rotate. Um, and it's it's also why in my game, I went ahead and added in key bindings. I got a lot of criticism last year about my, my control setup. So I went ahead and just added in key bindings. I personally, it's hard for me to say. I, it, it also depends on the game. Some of the games, if I'm using strafing, so for example, in the Might and Magic game, strafing is an important mechanic for combat a little bit to, to like move out of the way of enemies. And so it depends on how much strafing you need, whether or not I think it is a mechanic you want to include it. That said, as I've been playing these, I have actually found myself using QWE uh, for the rotation, Q and E seems to be, my, I, I actually thought A and, and D were my favorite, but the more of these I play, the more I actually find I like Q and E. Um, yeah, so that, that's sort of where I am on that. I'm gonna update my timestamp here. I'm gonna read, I'm gonna actually download this one and play it. Um, since the web browser version is so chunky here, um, or I, it won't even load for me. We're gonna try this here. We'll see if it'll open up on, there it goes, open on the, the, the correct screen. All right, so we're gonna play this, we're gonna try the desktop version if it'll load um, here at all. Interesting, even the desktop one takes a while to load. I wonder what is in there that's making it work that way. Um, or making it slow like that. See, like my whole system's locking up. I may not even be able to play this one, we'll see. I'm gonna give it a moment. Uh, Chill King says, I'm going to make the game for the GitHub in Unreal Engine just for you. Awesome. Awesome. Go for it. All right. Is there audio? Don't hear any audio. I probably need to turn the uh, the desktop audio down on um, OBS anyway. Okay. Final Nail. Let me go read their game page one more time. You are a gravekeeper so one little thing too for your web builds if your web build one thing i'll say is if you have a web build that doesn't work or doesn't load it may make more sense not to include it but also there's a full screen option here this is just for i know i've said it a couple times but in case people haven't seen it for this particular person let's go into my dashboard real quick um there is, I should have just pulled straight here. Okay, so there is this full screen button. I'm assuming you made it this big. Notice how far I have to zoom out. This is a giant thing here. I'm assuming you made it this big because you want it to be on HD resolution or full screen. On your itch page, setting the full screen button here will actually make it so there's a full screen button so you don't have to do that. Um, yeah, the particle, this, this is probably part of the reason it was so slow to load here. I really like this great, great first impression. I agree, Magnus. Um, this, this grass is beautiful. The sky is beautiful. It's also probably why the, um, web version loads so slowly. There's a bunch of, uh, stuff in Godot for getting the web builds working. Nice, you have to do a bunch of pre-baking stuff to make it nice. Um, let's go ahead and click play. Adding a loading screen here would be nice as well, it, since it takes so long to load. All right, there is a little bit of audio. The, the, so, so if you pre-bake, so notice on the turn there, you may not have noticed, but there's a bit of a hiccup as I was moving around. The, if you pre-bake in Godot and other tools as well, you pre-bake it it'll pre-load that stuff when the game is running right now when i moved it was like loading images and loading textures and stuff as it needed needed them my first comment is the controls feel perfect the controls are exactly what i would want in a dungeon crawler super snappy transition if i'm doing transitions rotation is super fast incredibly snappy i love it uh, key, rebinding keys, let's see what we have as options. Instant movement, nice. I, I do like that you have instant movement. I'm not getting, so apparently I can't move forward here. It, I'd be in this space. I'm not getting any feedback 
on on why can't I feel like I should be able to move into that space, but I'm not getting any feedback on it. So that would be one little comment. The uh, instant transition option is quite nice, quite nice. Thank you for doing that. Move buffering. I don't know. I wonder what this does. I I have no idea what move buffering Whoa. does. Um, Idrinth, thank you for the raid. Idrinth, how are you on this beautiful, beautiful Saturday? Idrinth, welcome back to the stream. What were you doing on your stream? What were you working on? Way heavy. Thank you for much, so much for the hat, Redeem. Let's get a hat added to the, let's get this hat stack started. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, I'm sorry to hear your blood sugar's not well. Take I, take whatever time you need to take care of it. Feel free to go do that. You, you never if you have to raid and run, that's totally fine. But thank you for sending your your crew here to hang out with us. All right, so we do get some feedback on non instant transition. I do like that we have a um, sound controls. We got the sound effects. We got the mass. We got the amb ambiance. Ambiance. I don't know what move buffer does. I'm gonna put it back on two. Um, one thing that might be uh, just a, this is an incredibly nitpicky criticism is the controls because you're not using Q and E for rotating. It would be really nice to have Q and E uh, rebindable, rebindable because a lot of people prefer that. Um, oh, maybe it cues. It, it's so fast. It's so fast. I don't know why you would need to uh, to cue anything in there. That's a good. That's a good question. Okay, uh, one other thing. Let me turn off the webcam in the chat here just so you can see. Really beautiful UI. We got a little mini map up here that's getting covered by my, my chat. I love that the final nail here is sort of floating around. Uh, nice little ambiance there. The animations on these are awesome. The hover over. So a lot of games, when you hover over them, the, the text doesn't pop up immediately, so it's hard to know. This one, it just shows it immediately as soon as my mouse on it. I like that. Um, it's you. I, apparently, I'm a, I'm a bellhead. I'm a bellhead. It's me. I have 110 health, I'm assuming. We got 20 decreased favors from your patron. Souls to bury. Souls freed thus far. I have a nice little compass down here. Fantastic art. Um, this is looking really, really gorgeous. Notes. I don't know what notes I can take, but we'll see. Yeah, this is, this is fantastic. One thing about perspective. Um, so... Oh, oh, I'm trying. Uh, this is me getting the uh, con the key controls kind of messed up. Um, oh, that's interesting. I thought that was going to be right there. So one thing about perspective, I feel like the field of view is pulled back and it, things feel a little bit distorted and wonky. Notice I cannot move to the right because there's an obstacle over here. There's an obstacle blocking me. Classic dungeon trawler controls would allow me to see whether or not there is something in that position so I can move there. So it'd be nice to be able to have some feedback. I think it's just because there is, it, it's, a, it's a physical like prop and it feels super far away. It feels like I should be able to move forward into that space as well. Again, little nitpicky things here. A grave meant to, for lost souls to return to. Right, let's, let's see if we can get some in. Oh yeah, way heavy. Absolutely. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous game. Um, so far, I, I'm already really, I, I, I'm, we'll see, we'll see here. Oh, my, uh, I'm gonna have to get used to the, the key controls being different than what I was expecting here. See right here, I feel like I should be able to move into this space in front of me, but I'm against the wall here. And if I rotate this way, I cannot strafe that way because there's a wall there. So the cameras, uh, the perspectives, a little weird. It's a little bit weird and confusing. An altar to your patron. Strength pack. Trade a decree for corporeal. Ooh. Trade a decree for corporeal physicality. Martial prowess. Trade a decree for greater resilience. I'm not sure if I should be trading these at all. Yeah, I think it's pulled back really far. Really far. Uh, which, again, it makes things feel distorted. But uh, I'll probably get used to it in a little bit. Um... Crimino, Lonis, the, the markstone in the middle of the, the yard absolutely needs to be pushable to the side. A hidden magic weapon is hidden beneath it. Oh. Uh, of that yard needs to be pushable to the side and a hidden... Oh, oh, you're saying it needs to. I was like, I can't push it. I'm trying. There needs to be a hidden magic weapon underneath it. Gotcha. Okay. 
Um, so far, I don't know if there were controls on the page. Let's go look. Let's go look and see if there were controls written on this page or not. I don't think there were. Yeah, no controls. So it's all in game, hopefully. Uh, there's a note here, a weathered note. All right, so journal. Welcome back to your graveyard shift. Pacify the souls of dead adventurers lost in the labyrinth. Bring them to graves scattered throughout the dark corridors. There are four to be found. Bury them. Okay, Eric has moved space to wait one turn. Okay. The note was, I felt like the note was in the position here and I couldn't see it from that space. Again, the the perspective is tricking me. I feel like I should be able to move forward one, but I can pull the lever from here. Open that up. Okay. All right, so opened. Um, apparently that. Is there... Huh. Lever does something. Okay, so I... Okay, it seemed to open this. All right, a glint of light catches your eye. I don't know what that is. Inventory, there's nothing in inventory. I didn't see anything come up here. All right, that's a little confusing. I don't know what that was. There was a little floating thing down here. Oh, an intimidating figure blocks your path. I can attack or use decrees. Attack. Um. The magic. Okay, so I need to drag. I think that might have been confusing to some people. I don't know what a, the, this magic doesn't exist. I built a system like this last year and it was really confusing to most people. So like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. Um, smite. Lacking, coalescent. Call forth the powers, I've already resisted some attack. Yeah, I don't know. I want to understand this a little bit more. Can I run? It doesn't feel like I can run. There's nothing so far that has explained how to do. Okay, so I just just playing through, uh, trying things here. Okay. I thought that might be just a, a slash attack, right? That felt, I played, I built a system like this last year. And so that felt uh, like not obvious, but maybe something to try. Magic doesn't exist. What about this? Poke it. Love the art style. I agree. Eyeball was slain. All right. I always feel best. I got composition. Your fortitude. The strength of your soul's corpus, your ability to withstand the weathering of the dungeon, piety, your favor within the divine. So I do think there needs to be an explanation of how combat works. I, I seem to have two abilities right now. I don't know if I could get more. Trinity Creed for corporeal physicality. All right. Ooh, that doesn't increase that very much. Feeling dark soulsy. Martial prowess. You feel more power into your body. Okay, I don't know if I should be spending those or not. I don't really know what anything does. The spike, whether note. When I pick up the note, I feel it should just pop up on the screen. Really cool idea, step on the spikes. That feels, well, that was rude. The note felt like maybe I shouldn't have done that. I do like that there's a mini map. Uh, it would be nice if the mini map showed doors on it. Just again, a little nitpicky thing here. So I there's this space here. I, I it's gonna be hard for me to remember to come back to it as well. So it, it would be nice to know if there's actually walls on this mini map or if that's air that I haven't explored. So a lot of games will have a little thing that says, hey, you haven't explored this space yet, so that when I look at the map, I know to come back to that. So right here, there's a hallway. There's no indication on my map that there should be a hall here. I just have to remember on the map that I haven't been down that path. 
I'm gonna follow the right wall um, as I explore the dungeon here. See how I'm in this space with this item and I can't pick it up. I have to be in a space adjacent to it. Okay. Splint catches your eye. Dead end. Okay, got some glints. I don't know what the glints do. Let's head back out. I'm following the right wall. An intimidating figure blocks your path. All right. We'll attack it. See, this is. I will took received sixteen damage. There is some great feedback. The enemy has some great animations. There's a light that plays through. Slash and stab don't seem to have much um, much of a difference. Maybe different enemies have different resistant types. I am glad that if I do an attack, and it fails that it doesn't waste my turn. So it does let me sort of explore some of these things, see if we can find something to try. Okay. I don't feel like I have a very many options in combat. I don't feel like I'm making interesting decisions in the combat. So we're coming this way. Hang on, let's come back up. I was following the right wall. Keep following the right wall. And just glancing down to see if there's something down these hallways. This is a long, pretty big maze so far. Feels quite, okay. So there is this square past here. So following the right wall, I get caught in a loop, so I'll have to change that. Let's go back here, follow the right wall. Shy Programmer, how's it going? Welcome back to the stream, great to have you here. I hope you're having a beautiful day. Follow the right wall. Back here, all right. So the follow the right wall strategy only works if there are not um, empty objects. It, it looks beautiful. Great stuff going on. I really like the art style. Good thing I have this map, right? Seems to be twisty, turny, a little bit hard. This is where having little, little indications on the map of where passageways open would be great because I'm going to be having to just wander kind of aimlessly through here trying to find the next passage that I haven't visited yet. Feels a little bit aimless. Yeah, the ambience of this game is quite nice. I would agree, Shy Programmer. Splint, of, splint catches my eye. I don't know what those are for. Maybe it was explained somewhere and I missed it. All right, we're back here. So I, I can't, okay, so we need to keep going down. Well, we can keep going down. I don't know if we need to. More twisting and turning. We also can keep going down this way. And that comes back up here. Okay. All right, there's another intimidating figure. Lost soul. Okay. So there's some about, I think, four. Pass by the souls of the dead adventurers lost. Or bring them to the grave scattered throughout the dark corridors. There are four to be found. Bury them. Okay. Let's see if we can defeat this guy. Yeah, I wish I understood whether or not I should be slashing or stabbing, or maybe there's some kind of block. There was no, or using my decrees. 
There is no explanation on what I should do. The enemy is not giving me any feedback on what its weaknesses are or if it has weaknesses. Uh, lacking the coffin is not ready. The spirit uh, exudes a chilling aura. Okay. So, smite. So, the. Okay. Lost will receive 29. Okay. So, I can use decrease to do a bunch out. Yeah. The art in this is really cool. I, I'm loving the art. Emmy Oop. Emmy O O P. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for submitting your game. We're going to play that one next. Let's keep going. Yeah, I don't feel like my, I don't, there's, there's no, I can't run either. Um, all right, I don't, I have no indication of how much life this thing has left. Should I be doing a smite here? Um, shy program, we didn't participate in this one. That's okay. I hope you participate. And we have Captain Coders learn you a game jam coming up uh, in June. Um, I hope you'll consider participating in that one. Rotavius, welcome to the stream. Great to have you here. I hope you're having a beautiful day. Oh, I, I'm about to die. Let's try Smite. Now oh, this guy is going to just destroy me here. The lost soul persists. Okay, died. So I have to return here. Okay, I'm somewhere interesting. So the cap cutters learn you. Oh, so this attack menu is stuck open. Oh no, this one. Okay. So there's a bug here. There's definitely a bug here. I'm stuck in combat. Okay. I'm stuck in combat. I don't have a way to get out. Um, I can't move. These menus are, yeah, I'm stuck here. Exit. Okay. Um, let's see if we can defeat the invisible monster. This death area seems interesting as well. Yeah, Learn You a Game Jam is the game jam I hosted last year. I'll be hosting again this year. Oh, geez. Yeah, see, like, something coming at me. You feel blessed by your patron. Okay, so did I... De oh, I defeated that. So I collected that soul. That creature... Oh, this is very confusing. I think there's just some bugs going on here that I don't understand. Okay. I'm gonna go bury the soul. Okay. So some stuff here. There's some definitely some stuff that I don't understand. Ja yeah, yeah. And, and that's that happens a lot with jam games, right? So just explaining to your user the things that are going on that that one happened i think that one was definitely a bug but i really don't know what's going on here um i am gonna trade more martial prowess let's let's get my martial prowess fill new spirits i'm just gonna bump up my martial prowess a bunch i don't know if i should if i should save those we'll find out uh corpus trade it for a greater resilience all right i like the idea of just being beefy beefy stompy attacker um, okay, so I deposited a lost soul there. I noticed my soul was going down. I got 30 decrees. Oh, yeah. Let's uh, increase my health a bit. Um, I like the martial prowess. I don't know if I should split this up or not. Um, I'm going to go a little bit of corpus. Okay. Let's see if I'm swinging for more damage now. I think that is what it meant. As I should be. Oh, do I have to re-pull? Oh, I had this pulled. Hang on, I'm slightly turned around again. Have that lever. Okay, so that one did open that. That was definitely what it opened. It might open more than more of these. Let's go look. That one's not open. Okay, so it did open this one too. Oh, is that that's where I was before? Okay. Never mind. One of my favorites from the jam. Uh, cue it up for us, Emmy. Emmy, cue it up for us. If we haven't played it, we'll play that one um, as well. We'll play that one as well. Uh, you don't. You can cue more than just your own. So if there's anyone has one that they've played that they think um, I should check out, please, please also share it with us. Thank you, thank you, thank you for doing that. Um, 
Yeah. So I want, I'm going to try and get through as many as I can in the raiding period. Um, last year I got up, up through about a hundred. Um, we'll see how many I can do this year. Oh, I stepped on the spikes again. Those are placed very inconveniently. <laughs> Who just put spikes in the middle of a room? What kind of, what kind of cemetery is this? This, so what I'll say is this game is confusing, but it's good enough that it has me intrigued to want to keep playing. It has me intrigued to want to keep playing. Um, even though there was that one bug, the combat system, I want to know. I want to like learn new attacks. I want more attacks. All right, there's a lever. All right, so this lets me come back out here. Um. I wonder if I pull that lever and go back in, there's more stuff. I like that we ended up with a shortcut back. So we found a lever and it brings us a shortcut back uh, to this area. Yeah, the really, really nice sound effects for sure too. Really windy dungeon. I, again, I will complain one more time, maybe a few more times, about the lack of information on what I'm necessarily supposed to be doing, and the map not. Hang on, there was a. Can't actually pick that. The map not showing me. It just shows walls, right? Even though, so there's a path here. There's a path here, but on my mini map, I wish it showed no wall on the mini map so to give me information okay i need to go explore this spot here otherwise i'm aimlessly wandering around being like what did i miss did i miss something i don't know whoa All right oh we got a big old raid the dev dad with the big raid dev dad <laughs> doi doi try doi <laughs> nice DOI. <laughs> there it doi. is. Thank you for the doi. Thank you for the doi. I guess I could take that cooldown off of it. <laughs> that's a lot of doi. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. Welcome to the stream, Dev Dad. Thank you so much for the. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for for joining us on this beautiful day, Dev Dad. How was your stream, folks? You guys don't know the Dev Dad. I think it's just Dev Dad. I never get it right. Uh, incredible streamer, incredible software developer, incredible father, trifecta of perfection over there. Go check out the Dev Dad stream. Check out Embedder. If you want to form better habits, Embedder's the way to do it. Incredible Mac owner, that's right. Akira, congratulations on your number 20. Exclamation point, exclamation first to get your points. You in the back, pay attention. I'm doing my best to pay attention. Also, if you want a full list of commands, scroll down a little bit, not affiliates, so I don't have uh, channel Joy points, but I have Captain Coder points if you scroll down. Uh, for anyone who's new here, I am Captain Coder. Captain Coder is me, and me is a computer science educator. I, I educate the, the children, the children. I work in a school for ages 10 to 14, teaching computer science and programming. This stream is dedicated to learning, coding, and growing together as a crew. Today, we are checking out, checking out Dungeon Crawler Jam entries. We're playing through them. We are currently playing Final Nail. There's a link to it up above. Um, feel free to check out. Uh, Deb Data, how the heck was your stream? Tell us all about it. Feel free to drop any links you'd like us to check out. But thank you for such, the, such a big old raid. Happy to have you here on this beautiful day. And thank you for bringing all of your beautiful crew members over. Um, Akira wants to ask a favor. You can you can ask. Oh, you want you want to get some points? You want to you're gonna ask to, to borrow some points? Um, but yeah, we're exploring this dungeon. Uh, we're crawling. We're crawling this dungeon here. Um, seeing if we can find something. Thank whoa. you for the whoa, shiny. That's right, big old whoa. Oh, shy programmer with a hat redeem. Let's get another hat added to this stack here. Hang on. My 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 hat, my heap of hats. Oh, thank you for the hat redeem. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Thank you for the hat redeem. We'll get a hat stack going. Uh it's a very important strong. Akira has a favor to ask. Alright, so I'm not sure if I've missed a turn or not. 
It is a bone conducting headset. I absolutely love it. These are open, the open, sh open move by shocks. There we go. We have a path. Ninti okay. All right. Let's see if my attack is strong. I increased my spirit a bunch. Boom. Eight damage. Garbage. All right. Increase my uh, amount. I don't have any decrease. I'm going to die on this probably for sure. Stab it. You need to see Lord of the Ring Risk game. That one, you're gonna make me open my Lord of the Rings Risk game. It's unopened, I think. Oh, did I defeat this thing? I wasn't paying attention. What did it say? I turned around for a second. I'll open it, I'll open it. It's not that valuable. <laughs> I, I'll open it. I got it as a gift on my 18th birthday. So here's the thing, I don't think, um, I'm not a huge fan of the game Risk. I find Risk to be a game in which every decision you make leads you l worse off than you were before. Um, so, so it, it, you know, it's a frustrating game. Um, and also when you play it, 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 the turns take forever. I think it's kind of a boring game. Uh, <laughs> I, that said, I've played a lot of Risk in my life. Um, same with war, yeah, Cypher Enigma. Risk is difficult to play. There's a little bit too much luck involved in Risk, in my opinion. I don't think it's a great strategy game, but it's not a bad game. Um, it's just not one of my favorite games. This is one of the rare occurrences where the floor and the dungeon gets to survive. I'm not sure for how much longer, though, considering the deterioration. Tuba, Tugger, thank you for the hat. Thank you for the hat. Redeem. Let's get another hat on top of this stack here. Um, you know, there is a really cool... Ro uh, Risk Legacy is a fantastic version of Risk. Um, if you haven't played Risk Legacy, highly recommend that game. Um, the new hat, too. Yeah, we get, we get lots of hats here. Risk Legacy, every time you play the game, the you open up a new envelope with a sticker that changes the rules or the board in some way. That's a really cool version of Risk. Um, but yeah, my, my Lord of the Rings Risk is just... Oh, okay, can we beat this guy? This guy blocked my path. I probably shouldn't have spent all my points. Statue thinks for a moment. Your weapon is ready. Yeah, the Emmy OOP, the Legacy games are fantastic. Okay, so this guy was just easy, easier than that lost soul. Okay, I see a thing floating down there. Okay, so there's two paths. Oh, no, there's not two paths to take. All right, down the way. I watched competitive risk online. You definitely need a computer handling the roles and the unit stacks because optimal play is very slow. I... And yeah, in person, to be optimal, battle mental fortitude way more than strategy. Another problem, another part of, not a problem, one of the, th another thing I dislike about risk is the amount of time it takes to take your turn. So risk is like best with seven people, I think, maybe six or seven people. And it takes like an hour between turns. Uh, to do anything and so that is another part of the game that i don't think is well optimized um, i remember as a kid playing these games of risk that would take weeks week like a whole weekend to play risk um okay i'm doing a lot more damage now All right, that was a good hit that was a good hit okay we're looking for there's a soul all right, we're gonna defeat this soul. We're gonna bury this bad boy. Get him. 51 damage, okay, I'm really, I'm swinging for a lot more. I'm glad I just spent it on my spirits there rather than saving them. Hopefully I don't need to have a bunch of decree stuff. I wish the combat, I had more moves or knew about them, the soul persists. All right, let's keep hitting the soul. All these people win by sitting on a single tear and building. Exactly, uh, exactly, Chipper Tugger. The game itself, I think, is like a zit. Again, any move I make in. All right, so in Risk, you're encouraged to take at least one 
territory per turn, right? So you take a territory that allows you to draw a card. The cards are what let you get a massive amount of troops at some point if you're able to collect the right ones. Yeah, it's a shame there's no health bar. I, I feel like my decisions don't... I, I don't know what my decisions are really doing. This guy has a lot of health. Um, I'm not sure if I'm actually killing him. I think last time I had to, like... Uh, I used... Something? Oh, man. This guy is very... Seems very strong. Very ominous game, for sure. I'd like to be able to finish it. Do I have to catch him? Let's try... Um, okay, so let's try consecrating him. Okay, soul has been captured. Thank you for saying that. I feel like that's what I did last time. Akira Dev, this is not my game. We are, we are playing entries to the game jam that I participated in. Um, and so the game itself... Is made, you can find it's pinned at the top. This is Final Nail here. We're playing it here. Um, yeah, uh, Criminal Loden, that's another part of it, is there's a social aspect to the game. I just think the game moves a little bit too slow. The strategy, I don't think, is particularly, I haven't found the strategy in it to be particularly interesting or engaging. Um, compared to when I was a kid, I loved Risk. But when I compare it to other strategy games, a game that's going to tickle tickle my fancy, if you will, um, I would prefer Axis and Allies. I have a, I'm pointing at something you can't see. I'm saying Axis and Allies, I think, is superior to risk in almost every way. So there's a lever here, but I can't get past it. Um, so that that's sort of what it comes down to in that regard. Do I dislike risk? Not necessary. Uh, online risk, I don't mind. Uh, so, for what it's worth, I've played a lot of online Risk. Okay, so I pulled that lever, something open. Or closed? This is, did this close? No. Axis and Allies, and there's a couple, there's several different versions of Axis and Allies. All right, so I'm gonna keep that lever pulled. Let's head back, make sure no walls opened. And uh, M-E-O-O-P, let me know if you don't have a ton of time, because I know I want to be able to play your game live while you're here. So if you're in a, in a, in a time crunch, let me know, because I don't know how much longer it's going to take. I don't think it's proc gen. It feels a little proc geny, but I don't think it is. Okay, cool. Thank you for the heads up. Yeah, we're going to be playing probably for a couple more hours today. Stratego, I am a big fan of Stratego as well. Um, I I think there's a there's yeah Stratego is a really fun game. I think ooh maybe that's what we'll implement, folks. Um, if you want to go vote on what we're doing next on stream, maybe that it's it feels like we are going. It's just going to redirect you to the platform normally known formerly known as Twitter, by the way. Um, but if you want to vote on what we're going to do next on stream, you can do so here. Um, one of the options is a, a, it, my, the one I really want is the tactic strategy game. But these are four options. I wasn't sure what to do next. Can I vote if I don't have Twitter? Shy programmer, I should have done it on Discord. I should have done it on Discord. The answer is no, not currently. Uh, how the X was a website called Twitter. What is that? Yeah, the platform formerly known as Twitter. But maybe for the Discord arcade game, maybe we'll make a Stratego clone. A Stratego clone that is a Discord game. It looks like this one's going to win. We have five days left, so you never know. But these are the four options for what we're going to implement this and next month um, on stream. So feel free to go vote on that, everybody. And if you have strong opinion, maybe I'll, I'll put the vote. Maybe I'll move this to Discord. We'll see. We'll see. If a lot of people, if enough people complain, um, we can move it. We can move it. Uh, more than anything, kind of sad, would have said tower defense. The tower defense, I think a lot of people want. I don't think, oh, oh, I did it twice. I don't think I can bury this guy twice at the beginning. I can't. Um, but did we, an altar to your patron? Is there a place for me to 
did something open here? There was... That's still closed. That's too bad. All four options are good. Yeah, Tuber Tugger, I... Sh I it, um, the polling system on X, on Twitter, on whatever we were calling it, doesn't allow multi-vote. And so that's another reason I might end up changing that. Let's see, okay. An eyeball here. An intimidating figure. Smack him. Combat, the, the, these messages are kinda slow. All right, so there's a door here. The lever here. Didn't open the door. I'm not sure if I should just pull the levers or not is the other thing. Okay. All right, so this is open now. Did I already come this way? All right, let's, I don't know if I should, well. Interesting, you have to pull it twice for it to do a thing. For a jam game, this is feeling a bit long right now. I would have preferred a slightly shorter game, but there, I'm still interested enough to keep playing. All right, this guy doesn't seem to be able to hit me, which is nice. Effigy of Conviction has been slashed. Oops, shouldn't have stepped there. My, uh, my need to move fast got the better of me. I don't know what these light things do. It's not pixel only. That's correct, Tuber Tugger. It's uh, not a pixel only. So the game has told me that I need to find four souls and bury them. So I have, I've buried one soul. I have found one. I need to find another grave. Uh, good question, Internet Bird. So we're, we're trying to find a grave and more souls, but welcome to the stream. Happy to have you here on this beautiful Saturday. There's a grave. So, all right, so I, I buried a guy. Um, so I need to find two more souls and two more graves. Ooh. That's kind of a cool little trap that I didn't notice. All right. Okay, I got more decrees, so I kind of want to go back to the entrance and spend them. I could save them, although I'm, I'm almost one-shotting these guys right now. All right, so I'll save them. I wish I had different attacks. I wish I had, I, I have two attacks that I know of. There might be more. I've tried a couple different combinations. The map is helpful. Get a glint. The models are, I, yeah, I absolutely, I can't help but agree that the aesthetic of this game is good. They give me one one health each, right? So that is inventory. My inventory is also empty. Like, I feel like the inventory may not have been finished. I am collecting stuff, but I don't know what's in there. This game feels like a movement style is a bit of an abstract. Like, it was free for movement. It'd be superior. It's only doing it to fit the jam. That might be true. It feels like a lot of, a lot of the entries do that a little bit. All right, so... Thought this might wrap around a lot of these. Another note. E I L O. These statue have given me creeps. I swear I can see them twitching in the corner of my vision. Definitely some ambiance to this one. Ooh, did I get slashed? Did a, a blade come down and slash me? All right, here comes an eyeball. Ooh, a blade got me there too. You can't find it, I'm glad your cat's enjoying it. <laughs> 58 damage to that eyeball. Death doesn't seem to be too, all right, so I found, I'm gonna take a screenshot of this here. I did find another, um, taking a screenshot so I can remember, so hopefully remember to get back here. So there, I found a grave. So when I get another another dead boy, I'll be able to come back to the grave. There's door, door, note. Yeah, I didn't see the blade. I think it's turn-based. I think it's turn-based. And so we can go look at that. I've recently been pondering the structure of the dungeon. Is someone playing tricks on us? 
or have we been here too long? All right, here's one of these guys. All right, so there's a soul out here. I don't have enough. I'm gonna die if I fight this guy. Um, probably. Here, let's see if we can just capture, consecrate. The coffin is not ready yet. All right, he's probably gonna kill me, and hope we'll we'll probably get into a bug state. Oh, he missed. All right, let's attack. Let's hit him twice if we can. So the blade, I think it's turn-based. All right, so death will return. So I'm stuck in combat. So there is a weird bug here where I get stuck in combat. And I'd like to be able to explore this death area. I don't know what's going on here. It seemed after I defeated him, it brought me back to the entrance. So let's see if we can consecrate him. Yeah, the coffin is ready. So we got the soul. All right, so um, let's go. Yeah, so something weird, something weird going on with that. Let's see if we can get back to that area. And if there's a, a swinging blade trap, I'll show it to you. If I see one, I'll show you show you how it works or how I believe it works. Oh, we can keep going down this way. All right, I need to get up here. This is where that grave was. All right. I thought they were here. All right, so we found this guy up here. Oh. So you'll notice, let me see, let me stand here. Does it work without me moving? So it doesn't do anything I'm standing. I can press space to wait. So every, so you can't see it, but it's, it's turn-based. So it moves when I move. So there's some timer here. It's just gonna sit here, and then I'll move once, twice, three, four. So every four time it comes down, and then it stays there for two and goes up, and then one, two, three, four. So so there's some kind of timer on it, but there there needs to be an indication to show it's there when it's not, right? So now I have time to move through it. So there is a little bit of a thing there. All right, so I got this grave. So beads with the hat redeem. Let's get a hat on this stack. Boom. Thank you for the hat redeem. Thank you for the, we're four hats deep, folks. Four hats deep. All right, so I consecrated that soul. I'm going to go back to the entrance and get some, um, get some, spend these, these points. I have so many points to spend. Uh, here, so I'm just gonna come back to the beginning area and spend them. Another black hat. It's true. It's true. Then I had another black hat. So let's give these to my patron. Um, feels like doing this damage is really good. I don't understand how much this is helping me or not. So I'm just I'm just sort of like spamming these out here. Greater resilience feels good idea. The text didn't go away. I missed which text was not going away. Okay, it's Cap the only streamer on Twitch who has to have hat related Zoom. Um, you know, possibly. Maybe. Someone else was doing hats. I, I remember seeing someone else doing hats. Oh, the soul one. Gotcha. I missed it. There also seems to be a little bit of a bug down here with it zero three rather than just three. I am curious what might be causing that. Okay. Purple light, I don't know what the purple light means. Oh, I've already been here. Okay, I'm just in this new hallway. Two nerdy nerds, welcome back to the stream. How you doing, friend? Great to see you again. All right, let's keep exploring. I feel like we're getting close. Yeah, there's only one more soul to to, to, to take care of here. Um, come up here. All right, so this is just a big, a big wraparound area. The map design is pretty cool. I wish I could zoom out and we could see the whole map because the map design is actually not just random. You'll notice here the map, there's like some structure to what's going on here. It's this really cool looking room structure here. I can hear this, a nerd alert. 
We got the nerd in the stream. The nerds, not just one nerd. We got two nerds who are nerdy nerds, not just regular nerds. Folks, you guys don't know the two nerdy nerds. You gotta, you gotta go check them out. Two nerdy nerds. Nerfy nerds. Two nerdy nerds. Go give them some love, folks. Incredible streamers making an awesome game. Two nerdy nerds, if you have a link to your Steam page, go ahead and drop it in the chat so people can wish list it. Love to have it available. I need to get a um a like a little video or something for you to to play to give you a shout out. Okay. Alright, it feels like there's not there's a door here uh, that I haven't opened. Mr. Nerd, I wish to list your game. So this Moon Challenge, are you supposed to just get it working or make it as possible? It's just the mechanic. So if you're doing mechanically challenged, and we'll, we did a little video, I'm gonna chop it up and put it there. Mechanically challenged, you just implement that one mechanic. The idea is to create a repository of how to's on implementing specific mechanics and uh, keep it, the idea is keep it as simple as possible. If anyone from the party finds this, please come to the courtyard wherever the exit was. It's just covered by a wall now. Interesting. All right, I I'm not sure where to go next. Yes, we're more interested in how it was done, great question, than the final results, and ha making a repository of things to share with the community. So, and someone wants to implement, so we often get people coming to the stream asking, hey, I'm doing this thing, can you show me how to do it? And I don't always have a good answer. So the idea is to create a repository of those things. So when people ask, you can say, hey, go look at this thing. Or if someone asks, say, this would be a good, a good challenge for mechanically challenged. And also just a learning experience. Okay. So these are all closed. I'm not sure if there's specific lever combinations that I need to do. So I need to pull it a couple different times. So now I'm not sure if I have this open or closed. I probably shouldn't have pulled it too many times. Great question, mechanically challenged. Um, I'll, I'll, let me finish this game. We're so close, I think. And then I'll talk about mechanically challenged again. Um, yeah, there's a link right there. Um, MC. There it is, mechanically challenged. Click on that link. Let me know, we're, and we'll, we'll be adding more FAQs because it's not entirely clear what it is. Okay, I'm not sure if I reclosed that area or not. Let me go try pulling that switch one more time and coming back here, maybe. Or is that just a courtyard I'm not ever able to access? I'm a little bit sad that I don't know whether or not the switch I pulled is triggered. Um, I pulled it too many times and, and may have just ruined myself. The maze is big, yeah, a little bit too big in my opinion for a jam game. So like, I don't know what state this lever is in. Is it pulled, is it not pulled? The other ones I had to pull twice. So it has a big clicking sound. All right, I don't. Let's go try some more. Let's see if there's some hallways that I missed down here. Back at the entrance. The the everything in this is looking really nice. A lever. So see now. See how this one I have to pull twice. 
Yeah, get the player lost, then brag about the playtime, yeah. Thousands of hours, so I still haven't been able to go down here. Um... I might have to call it quits on this one, because I don't know where to go next. And I, I think I have the general gist. I, I feel like I'm very close to finishing it. Solid implementation. But uh, a little bit too busy. There is no music. There is no music. There is ambient sounds, but it's very, very ambient. Right? So there's no music, though. Yeah, so I feel like I'm going to stop here. Um, unfortunately... I've become lost and I'm not sure if these le if I should be pulling these levers or not. I've lost track which way the levers go. If the levers should not be re-pulled. Probably make it so that they stay open. Um, really, really good game. The combat I wish was a little bit more explained. I'm not sure if I have more options. So I'm a little bit sad that I didn't get to finish this one, but we've been playing it a bit, so I'm going to stop here. Fantastic entry, though. Fantastic. There's no way to exit it, so I'm going to have to, like, force quit the program as well. There doesn't seem to be, like, an exit game button. Um, so I have to, like, force kill it, which is a little bit sad, but that's okay. Nice entry. Nice entry here. Thank you so much for making it. Thank you for putting it into the jam for us. Emmy OOP, we're going to play yours next. We are doing uh, that here. If anyone has a Game Jam entry they want us to play, feel free to send along. Um, is there still a question about Mechanically Challenged? I can talk about that briefly if there's still questions about it. I will also be putting together a video and, and doing an FAQ on it as well um, to, to make sure... It makes more sense since it is a little bit of a, a contest to get the best one. Would it make sense for the MC to give out character ads for everyone to build with the same parameters? So you don't have to do a 2D game. It can be a 3D game. It can be a 2D game. It's not about the assets. It's about the mechanics itself. Shy programmer, no worries. Thank you so much for coming in. Thanks for hanging out. Remember to keep coding. Keep growing. Keep being the best you you can be. You're welcome back anytime, my friend. Thank you so much for being here. Um, let me add a little timestamp to the stream so we can find this later. This is going to be Rhythm Ruins. Tuber, did that make sense? Video at, let's put a marker here. Rhythm. I'm hoping this is a rhythm game because I love me a good rhythm game. Rhythm Ruins. 206.35 at 2 06 35 <laughs> be the best you can be unless you can be camp then be a camp all right get the download started um no thanks just take me to the downloads download all right okay let's unzip this dc jam windows but, oh, very cool. I love rhythm games. I have my Dance Dance Revolution pads over here. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm a big fan of rhythm games. All right. There's a game application. Okay. Is there a full screen option or is this it? It's stuck in the window up here in the top left. All right. Um, is there a way to full screen it by any chance? There is not. Okay. So I'm going to close that there. We will see what we can do to get it to, to look nice on stream for us. Um, it, this is, um, oh, let me, let me add this here. This is Rhythm Ruins. Let me, let me pick this, uh, pick this, pin it, Rhythm Ruins by um, M-E-O-O-P here, Rhythm Ruins. This is an entry to the game jam. Well, let me pin. Let me try pinning it here. There we go. All right. Rhythm Rooms Clay Man, welcome to the stream. I hope you're doing well. All right. Let's see if we can get this to look a little bit nicer on stream for us here. Um, get that launched. But let me see if we can 
add an additional source so that it'll look a little bit better on stream. It's a little bit chunky, uh, a little bit a little bit funky here. Let me see if we can add a little source though. Give me just a moment to try and make it look better. Um, game capture. No, let's do it. This uh, window capture. And we're gonna capture game. There we go. So now I should be able to scale this up. There we go. So that'll take up a better chunk of the screen. So for people, all right. So at least for you people, uh, you'll be able to see it a little bit better here. Um, all right, so when we're ready, I'll turn that back on. Oh man, it's a little bit, it blocks. Okay, I can go to my window here. Okay, let me add a timestamp for this. And, oh, did I already add a timestamp? I did, 20606. Rhythm Ruins, DC Jam 2024. You seek to enter an ancient ruins to find the Dance Master, but you quickly realize the ruins are more of a labyrinth than you expect. Can you survive the monsters with your rhythm skills and find the Dance Master, or will you be lost forever? Thank you for the hat, Solomon. So let's get a hat added to this stack here. Thank you for the hat. Thank you for the hat. There we go. There we go. All right, I'm gonna take a screenshot of these controls so I have them for myself on the other screen while I'm playing. Okay. Movement. Uh, ooh, the controller. Would you recommend I play it with a controller? I have a controller and I prefer that if possible. We'll try a controller. We'll, we'll play with a controller here. I might have to restart it since I wasn't using it at first. Oh, you don't think you tested? All right, we'll play with the keyboard. We'll play with the keyboard just so we don't run into any weird, any weirdness um, in that in that case, just to be safe. All right, um, all assets were from the Unity Asset Store, either through free packs or packs I had previously paid for. All the code was written by me and Golang. Game design and level design by my seven-year-old son. Um, bug, missing graphics for treasure chests. If you survive to the end of a song and still haven't killed a monster, you get stuck. Okay. Level ups to affect your max health. Um, so I don't have, uh, I'm not an affiliate on Twitch. That's why, that's why. So I don't actually have channel points. All right, here we go. Let me turn this source back on and move it down one second. It's gonna be, we need to move it here. There we go. Okay. So one thing, one thing I will say is traditional dungeon crawlers, the uh, movement is not quite as snappy as I would expect most dungeon colors. The rotation's a little slow, but that's that's okay. I do like that I can hold to keep moving. So that will probably help. I do think the rotation's a bit slow, but we'll see. All right, I don't know if this is a door. Let's see, um, movement, dance rules, interact space bar. You need a key to open this door. Okay. You need a key to open that door. All right. Ronders, welcome to the stream. All right, we got it. We got a goo guy. The goo guy down here. Uh, enter to cancel. Uh, tab to open the map. As you draw near the mass in front of you, prepare yourself for battle. Okay. To fight, walk up to the enemy, press spacebar to engage in combat. Battles are a rhythm mini game where you must time your strikes and blocks. Use A for notes coming from the left, D for notes coming from the right. So A and D. Um, there is a, a not, there's a not in, so yeah, there's a non-insignificant contingent. There's quite of us. Attach debugger to the game. Uh, add and give yourself a key. Genius. Genius. All right. Uh, 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 uh,
attack. I did it. Took that guy out. Ooh, cool combat mechanic. I love that. I love that. And the timing felt good. It, it was it was to the beat of the music. A lot of rhythm games. Um, it's 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 challenging. I've written a few rhythm games. It's challenging to get the timing to line up with the music. It's challenging to get the time to line up with the music. So excellent job getting that to line up. Really, really liked that. That was cool. We do have a, it says tab to open map. When I hit tab, nothing happens, just a heads up. I don't know if that is a feature that wasn't uh, implemented or I don't have a map yet. The sight of a chest brings a sly grin across your face. As you wonder what's inside, walk up to it and press spacebar to find out what is inside. You got a compass. Knowing your direction helps you navigate the ruins. Very nice. So now at the top I have this I'll get you. It's true, I'm gonna get you. Thank you for the I'm gonna get you. <laughs> All right, so I bet I find it. So I do have some health up here. I apparently I took a little bit of damage. Whoa. Thank you for the whoa. All right, my strategy is follow another chest. You got two coins. How many can you collect? Can I collect them all? I like coins. I like shiny things. Give them to me. These ruins are more of a labyrinth than you expected. There must be a map here somewhere. Uh -huh, uh huh. Nice little explanations popping in here. Nice crunchy sounds there. The sound effects are great. Add a ton to it. We are but by pedal mac. It's indeed, Beegs. Indeed. All right. Found a fire. Fire warmed your spirit, nice. So I can rest at the fire to get my hit points back. Are magpies bipedal? Thought they were birds. Think strong. Let's get another hat added to this stack. Thank you for the hat, Redeem. Here we go. Here we, come on, hat. Boom. Here for the hat, Redeem. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Congratulations on number 27, Patrick. The side of a campfire is welcome. Uh, while we, okay. So a little bit, it assumed I was going to be coming from this angle. So that's a little bit of a weirdness to there. I think I don't think it said that it's coming from the other angle. Patrick and Rogers, let's get two more hats going. Thank you for the hat redeem. Oh yeah. Thank you for the hat redeem. Double, double the hat. Double the hat. Bonus hat, Patrick with the bonus hat. Thank you for the hat redeem. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, perfect. Perfect. We got to, got to, we, we're too zoomed in. Can't see all the hatch. Let's keep going here. I want to get the chest. Oh, did I already open this chest? Okay. Apparently I've been here. This looks like I'm back at, okay. So I'm back at the beginning. If I had turned right, I would have seen that. Do I have a key? Okay, don't have a key yet. I I would like for space bar. I would like for space bar to click okay for me by default. Uh, a small little critique there, a quality of life thing. Um, when code a, oh, when I was pressing spacebar, it didn't work. I'll, I'll try it again on the next one. Hang on, hang on. Let's try it real quick. Come down here, press spacebar. Yeah, spacebar doesn't get that okay button, at least for me on my system. All right. Um, I, oh, maybe enter does. It's enter, gotcha. Enter to cancel. Okay, good to know, good to know. Thank you for the heads up there. My intuition was telling me to press space bar. All right. Here we go. Oh, this is, this is like the Monty Hall game. Door one, two, and three, yellowed orange. Welcome to the chat. You need a key for this door. Any key for this door? No key for this door. Got it, got it. Give me that map. The colors, I'm interested if the colors mean anything. I do think it's nice to have a little bit of variety here. The textures are pretty nice. Five more coins. Give me all the coins. I'm up to seven coins. I'm rich. I'm rich. All right, let's open this up. Seven more coins. I'm up to 14 coins. Oh man. I'm gonna buy so many, so many things with all these coins. Okay, let's keep going. Look at this skelly boy. You ready for my ultimate rhythm moves? Attack block, attack block, attack block, attack block, attack, attack, block, block, attack, attack, block, block, attack, attack. 
Boom, took him out. Took him out. The rhythm on that one felt like it was off a little bit. Right, let's go sleep at a fire. Interesting, I can see the campfire. I can see the campfire when the wall has a, so we have like a, a clipping. When you get far away, it, it removes the wall because you can't see it, but I think I see the campfire back there or something glowing. Uh, so that is interesting. Oh, I thought the campfire was back this way. Maybe it wasn't the campfire, it was something. Smab, yeah, I really love that. I love that. The rhythms on that particular spot were a little bit off. <laughs> rhythm Souls. Oh, we should make a Rhythm Souls game. Um, I love that. Ooh, we're going to have to add that to the list of things to make. Make a Rhythm game. Okay, I wish I had just... Ah, foiled. I could have just come around this corner to the, the fire. Little did I know. Little did I know. Labyrinthy. All right, die, mage. Oh no! Some little feedback on knowing how well I'm doing would be useful. Did I not beat the enemy? The battle music is great. Did I do so bad that I didn't beat the enemy on this one? Oh no! Does it end or do I have to restart? I did so bad I didn't beat the enemy. Oh, okay, okay. Some sweet music. We just have to do better next time. We have to do better next time. All right, let's try again. Um, that guy was too strong. Too strong. Let's try one more time. Let's see if it will automatically... <laughs> The uh, the window capture switched to um, my queue. Hang on, let's switch our window capture. Nope, not that one. There we go. All right, we're bring it back. Music is great. Yeah, the rhythm doesn't loop, but the music does. Ah. All right, so we we find out right away. There's a key here. All right, let's go fight. Goo Man McGee. Goo Man. Goo Man. All right. Gotta focus. A health bar would be really nice. Some indication of how well I'm doing. I would like to see that. All right. So I see why you would expect to know that that is there. All right, let's get this chest. Let's get our compass. And I think there were two coins over here. Well, eight coins. Ooh, are the coins, the coin amounts random? I'm probably gonna spend them later. I'm gonna see if we can find a map. Very nice little mechanic there. Goo guy. Let's try it. Uh, uh, uh. All right. Really got to focus on on making sure I hit those attacks dead center to get all out. Stop conductor. Nice. Got 50 XP. I'm level two. More coins. All right. Let's keep going here. Fantastic. I'm loving this. Always room for improvement, right? So, but that's okay. Another goo guy. The map is this is in this purple section. Gotcha. Cool. Right, my goal is to really focus on the 
weapon icons. Yeah! Okay. Alright. Ball the right wall is my strategy. My exploration strategy to keep me from getting too lost. Uh-oh, it looks like we have a, a, a looping structure here. So if I kept falling the right wall, we end up in an infinite loop. So we're going to have to break that and go left. Have I been around this corner before? Probably. All right, let's fall this right corner. Oh, no. My strategy. But we can watch that X, Y, Z down at the bottom. We have a Z. Okay, so X and Z are, are sort of our location uh, there. Y is zero. Are we able to go up and down, I wonder? All right, so apparently I've already got that. <laughs> no worries. There are so many things I wanted to add that I didn't get to. Okay. Got to focus. Bad. Hmm. Hmm. Got him. How many coins can you collect? Oh, not a map. Okay. okay. You feel a draft of wind blowing you down this hall. Maybe this is the way. Distron, welcome back to the stream. We're playing game jam entries. Block, 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 back, block, back, block, block. Got him. Give me a map. You got the key. Now you can open those pet. Oh, one key. We got that. We got the master key. One key to rule them all. One key to bind them. One key to take them all and in the darkness. Oh, hang on. I got that wrong. One key to find them. One key to take them all and in the darkness bind them. Oh, wait, seven keys for the dwarf lords? No, no, no. Three, three keys for the elven kings. Wait, is that, is it keys? No, no, that can't be right. What's the quote? <laughs> One dungeon to rule them all. They are rings. I, <laughs> thank you. All right. Hope I'm not making anyone too mad with my uh, misquotes there. It's like a Star Trek quote, right? Or is that Harry Potter? Are the turning camera angles fixed? They are, so they're 90 degree angles. Oryx Dev, oh, Oryx Dev. I would like to welcome you to the crew now. Oh, Oryx Dev, welcome to the stream. Oryx Dev, if you want to, you can share it on Discord. A little rude to just uh, come in. You got. You should become part of the community a little bit before you just uh, start start spamming uh, your links in the chat. But happy to have you here on this beautiful day. If you want to post it on the Discord, that'd be awesome. We also have a showcase April 20th. If you want to come on stream, that's a great time to share your work as well. But uh, thank you for popping in. Um, we are playing Dungeon Crawler Jam Entries today. Um, but yeah, if you want to share it during our Saturday showcase on April 20th, we'll definitely give it a play. All right. Uh, you can sign up on Discord. Right, so, have I explored this area fully? I'm not sure. Campfire triggered. All right, I'm supposed to keep... I, I was told that there's a map in the blue area. The full quote is one key to rule them all, one key to find them, one ring to bring them all, and in the darkness, blind them. If you're already in the darkness, why do you got to blind someone? I don't know if that's from the Hunger Games. Oh, I have to go to the three doors. Okay. Those pesky doors. Okay, so there was a hint. I'm just bad at games. I'm just bad at games. Blind, gotcha. Thanks, Distron. 
Hang on, where were the doors? I can find them, I promise. Have you thought about getting the game developer Twitch Bab? I feel like it spices up any developer's profile. Um, I could probably get one. I, I haven't thought about it. I actually don't even know how to find it. Uh, we did do, oh, you like putting together videos for it? Uh, oh, this is the way the map. Gotcha. I thought you were saying, okay, so that was the same. All right, I'm trying to focus on this. Uh, uh, bat, 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 bat. Got him. You're a wizard, Harry, and in the darkness, find them. Um, I probably won't be doing like a walkthrough series on Advent of Code. I did stream Advent of Code, um, but the those tutorial videos just take a really long time to produce. Um, and time-wise, um, I didn't have a lot of time. I had less time. So last year, Oh no, my hands got in the wrong position. Oh no. I was pressing the wrong keys. Okay, luckily there's enough slashes on this one. Whew, got worried there. My hands ended up in the wrong position. I was pressing Q and E. Um, uh, so yeah, I won't be putting together to Travis. Last, when I started streaming, I was working only 10 hours a week, but I'm a uh, full time now. So my, my teaching job is much more demanding than it was that particular year. I was only teaching um, a few classes. All right. Ooh, I found a teleporter. Ooh. Is there a map inside this crate? Chest? Smack him. Smack him. Smack him. Smack him. Smack, smack. Block, block. Smack, smack. Got ya! You thought you could find me a map! Press tab to open the map. Yes. Ooh, this is a big old map. I love the I love the pixelation on the map. Okay. So I am the little pink dot here. All right. Sadly, so this is one of the downsides of adding a map that's an overlay like this. Is now I would just want to play on this uh, map screen. Oh, I went to a different area. It didn't teleport me back to where I came from. That's me. But <laughs> don't tell Dobby. <laughs> That's a uh, that's a good quote from uh, Gandalf said that right. All right, we're gonna ignore that monster because I don't want to end up locking myself in the game. Or is that hopefully that monster's not blocking anything important? All right, we're gonna talk around here, Professor Dolby. Eight more coins and buy so many things. <laughs> Where does one find your teaching stuff? Um, good question. So I work at a school. Uh, you can sign up for lessons on Kofi. I need to set up a website for it. Um, I also think there's a form you can fill out at uh, captaincoder.org. Um, let me see if I can do that. Academy.captaincoder.org. If you want to sign up for lessons, you can do it there. There's like a form you can fill out. Um, Kofi, you can actually uh, sign up for one-on-one -on -one or group lessons as well. Um, but yeah, the school I work for is ages 10 to 14, so it's it's um, semi-exclusive uh, to, to that. So I don't just teach courses for anyone uh, to join as much as I wish I had time to do so. <laughs> All right, so this is a new area. I'm looking at my map, making sure... All right, the map is super helpful for helping me decide where to go next. More coins. Nice. Empty. Okay. Empty. Continue here. Skeleton. I'll walk up to it just so it'll mark it on the map. Oh, I guess I did level up at one point, so fighting the enemies will help me level up. Maybe I should fight them. Yeah, because that wizard seemed really strong, or maybe I was just not good. All right. It's got to be very careful not to lose. Um, I do, in the, there's like a little terminal you can't see. And I am getting messages in the terminal 
about defeating enemies. If this map takes up the whole screen, that's going to be quite a lot to explore for a jam game, for a game jam game. Right, let's keep going. Down this hallway. It's pretty big. It's pretty big. Okay. So it would be one of these uh, things where we'll see. I'm not bored yet. So let me say I'm not bored yet. But if this is, if there's not a whole lot more variety after this, it is going to start feeling a little bit empty and um, overstaying its welcome. But let's keep going here. Like, I honestly think I made the mistake in my game. Um, my Okay, there's a teleporter puzzle. Cool. My, in my game, I made my game a little bit too long. My game is a bit too long. I think it overstands its welcome. Uh, remember that scene where Worf used the voice in Poultry Parcel Tongue to summon the Knights of Gondor? Tuber Tugger. I do remember that. I do remember that. Um, and he said, Make it so, Mr. Sulu. <laughs> Alright, here we go. All right, and, and this is fantastic. Keep in mind, this game was programmed father and son. The father did the program, and the son, eight-year-old, did all of the game design on this. So fantastic, like incredible, incredible uh, stuff going on here. All right, this guy took me out last time, so I'm gonna avoid him for now. Them, perhaps, I should say. really cool okay we're gonna have to fight all right all right let's let's i'm scared i'm scared should i wait to fight this guy am i strong enough to defeat this guy or am i gonna end up in a in a, a no-win situation if i'm not careful oryx thank you for your submission uh i just gotta hit all the swords okay all right that's it let's do it I think I missed one. Woo! Woo! I got scared. I'm pretty sure I missed one. That's scaring me there. Oh, come on! Empty garbage room. <laughs> Empty room. Boozled! You boozled me, how dare you? Uh. Uh. Oh no! Wizard? The Necro Dancer! You're no match for my sweet moves. I <laughs> swap the visual feedback so bad. Yeah, yeah, having them bounce up and down would be awesome. Awesome. Fantastic. Fantastic. Woo. Alright, now that I now that I've mastered this game, no Necro Dancer will defeat me. <laughs> Alright. So this little area here, I think, okay. So I need to go up uh, this way, this way. That guy, what's wrong with his legs? His legs are, look cold. Stop looking at me. We'll come back if we need to. Hold me close now, Necro Dancer. <laughs> Thanks, Elton. <laughs> All right, blue wall. 
Blue Wall was the name of a restaurant at my uh, university where I went to college. Boom. Okay. So I've been here. All right, back up we go. There's a door, I think. It looks like I haven't been down. Okay, there's a wall there. Keep going this way. Okay, passageway. So one thing that I really like, one thing that I really like is that on the map, it adds one position adjacent to you. It adds one position. So as I'm exploring, if I go down a hallway, I know that I've never actually been in... Oh, you can't see it. I'm drawing on my screen here. Um, I've never actually been in... Let me turn this off for a second so you can see what I'm doing. I've never actually entered this space here because the minimap adds every adjacent space. So I know that I haven't explored that. A lot of the minimaps that I've seen in this particular jam don't add the neighboring space. It just adds the spaces you've actually visited. So I really appreciate that. I don't know if that was an intentional design or not, but I do appreciate that uh, in this entry. Three coins. I'm up to 38. I'm 38 coins. I'm rich. I'm going to go buy myself a Lambo. Nice. Good, good design there. Really, really excellent design. All right, let's go back to the entrance. Here. Where am I? Nix! Great to see you. Welcome back to the stream. Congratulations on your number 28, my friend. Um, Oryx, thank you so much for the compliment. I appreciate you being here. Thank you for saying that. Get, make, make, you're making me smile. Give me that smile. Yeah, we're all here to learn and code and grow together as a crew. I'm a teacher. I teach computer science and programming. Uh, but this stream is dedicated to, you know, learning new stuff, working together as a team to make cool things. I've only been doing game dev for about a, a little bit more than a year, a year and a half, I'd say. I've been programming for a long time. I was watching a short the other day that showed how in Lord of the Rings, the orcs were packing lever action crossbows. They were actually pretty cool. Ooh, right. teleport. All right. I ported in the red room. Six more coins. Give me those coins. All right. I'm going to, I'm going to just, I'm going to walk through this whole area. Have you been on web development too? Yeah. So Nix, um, the last startup I worked for was web development. I would say I did mostly back end, semi full stack, but front end stuff I'm not great at. The company that I worked for, we did, um, Angular. It was an Angular application with a Flask backend. So the, the front end was a single um, single page um, SPA. Single. Oh, didn't mean to step into that. All right, now I'm in some other area. Um, using Angular and then Python Flask as the backend, and then we did a bunch of machine learning stuff with OCaml. A bunch of machine learning stuff with Jane Street OCaml. Um, I, w I, I actually thought Flask was absolutely fine for doing API stuff. Um, yeah, so the front end. Why are you not good at front end? Just not uh, much of a designer. You don't like how to place things. I feel like from a design perspective, I am uh, not good at building things that are intuitive for people to use. I am currently streaming from Windows. Zio asked what, what OS use. I'm streaming, streaming from Windows. Um, my main operating system, I prefer Linux. I prefer Linux, but I'm getting more used to using Windows and I have a Mac as well. It seems to be a one way trip and the only way is forward. Okay. No, I can only go one way. Oh no. Forward. Uh oh. You feel different than the other ones. There's an inscription that says push through. Okay. So we just learned that there are secret walls. So they appear different on the map. They don't. They appear the same on the map. And 
Can I go through this one? I cannot. My dev environment is Mac, but my daily machine is Windows because it's got all the peripherals and don't have my MacBook plugged in. So for me, um, streaming from Mac and Windows is super laggy. So I stream, I, I started streaming using Windows for streaming um, because OBS, the support for Windows just is better um, in my experience. Okay, is there a secret wall I can push through here? Yes, there is a secret wall I can push through here. It felt that way because the the teleporter there was gonna be in my way and there was stuff behind it. So nice little visual clue. So, you, so, so what I'll say, excellent design there. You teach the player about uh, invisible walls and then I'm assuming if I step on it, it like teleports me back to the beginning. You teach them about invisible walls and you put some stuff behind that teleport and then you know it's like, okay, now I'm gonna have to find the invisible wall. I feel like that was done really well. There's an invisible wall in my game that nobody was able to find and is required to progress. I didn't do a good job explaining it. This one did a fantastic job. All right. Nice, nice. Yeah, Eye of the Beholder, fantastic. Maybe we should play Eye of the Beholder on stream someday. All right, focus. Die, block, die, block, die, block, die, block, die, die, block, block, die, die, block, block, die, die, block, block, die, 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 block, die, die, block, die, do, 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 block, block, tick, block, block, stab, give him the old pokey pokey, block, block, stab, stab, block, stab, block, stab, all right. Wizard ain't got nothing on me. You ain't nothing. You ain't nothing. Oh, I'm loving this. It's definitely one of my favorite entries. Super fun. Love the concept. Every game can always use a little bit more polish. I would love to see the rhythms a little bit more lined up. So, one way that I have found to do that when making rhythm games is to build an editor. So you want to do something called quantization. I don't know if you're familiar with, I don't know how much of a musician you are. I actually went to school to be a music teacher. So in digital music, you have something called quantization that you can use to have it line up with beats. So you would play this song. You would play this song and you'd tap the rhythm. You press space on the beats. Okay, so then you'd create these markers where you can actually set where notes are. So you'd play, you'd listen to the whole song and you'd tap space. You'd tap space as it goes. And this, this timer would progress. It would chunk through progressing. Then you can go through and map where the actual hits are in it. And then when you listen back to the music, it is actually has a, um, a rhythm map that's mapped to it. So it's not the most intuitive thing to do, um, but if you've worked with doing like MIDI players and stuff, you would, you would know, um, you would, you would, you would have seen this. So it's a little bit tricky to get right, but it's actually not that hard to implement once you've got it, uh, once you've done it a few times. All right, we got a wizard. We've got another wizard. I don't know if I actually have to need to fight these guys. Let me, I, I wonder if I can find the rhythm editor, the rhythm game editor I created uh, to show it a little bit, to show how to do it a little bit. Uh, but same with you, if you're writing like MIDI editors and music editors. Okay, we're in a new area. It is quite a big map. It is quite a big map. I would have preferred a shorter, a shorter dungeon. Um, Ah, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, the rhythms are slightly off a little bit. Um, let me see here. Let me look at my, let me go to GitHub real quick. I think I have a rhythm game, GitHub. Uh, let's go see if I can find the rhythm game I made. Rhythm, there it is, rhythm game, 2021. Yeah, uh, maybe we'll look at this. Um, this is before I started streaming. Um, but I have a thing called a beat mapper. Yeah. Pretty cool stuff. Maybe we'll maybe we'll pull this out and see if we can get it working. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is super cool. This is super cool. What are some of the coolest projects you built? Uh, oh, oh, sorry. I did. I thought I did. Um, it's from a pretty old version of Unity, but let me grab it here. Rhythm game. Sorry, I didn't realize. I forgot that this is covering my screen. It's covering my screen. I did this three years ago. Three years ago. What are some of the coolest projects? We've done quite a few here. I need to to do a better job of having them linked. But um, oh, projects. There we are. Those are some of the ones you can link. Um, many of them are on itch as well. The game ones are on itch, but we've done some that are not games as as well. But yeah, I've made a few rhythm games. I'd like to do another one uh, soon. I think it'd be really cool. I, I have so many ideas for classes. I want to do a rhythm. I want to create a rhythm game um, tool that I can. So I teach music at my school. I think it'd be really cool to have students write music and then turn it into a little rhythm game. Yeah, I, so I've only really been, like I said, I've only really been doing game dev. Seriously, like trying to learn game dev and understand it better for two years, a little bit less than two years. And, uh, but my background is in software engineering. Right, let's focus on this. Boom. Let's keep going. Of course, taking the time to build that full editor is really tricky. Or not tricky, but it's time consuming, right? So you're in a game jam. All right, we got another teleporter. In a new area. Science, how you doing, friend? Welcome back to the stream. Belit, how are you on this beautiful Saturday? Hope you are having a beautiful Saturday. I, I felt like I was getting close to the end. Science. Folks, if you don't know Science Dreams, incredible science communicator. Working on getting to the Partner Plus program. Be sure to go give them some love. Check them out. If you like them, consider subscribing to Science Dreams. Um, we're going to get you there, Science. Working on becoming a Twitch ambassador as well. And uh, no one deserves it more than you, my friend. We're almost there. We're almost there, right? Yeah, we are. Oops, I didn't mean to click away from the screen there. We are playing um, M-E-O-O-P. This is M-E-O-O-P's game um, for the game jam. Finally, you found him deep in the ruins. Congratulations, you have you you have beat the game. <laughs> I, I wish the word beat here was like beat. Get it? B -b -b beat the game. No pun intended. Uh <laughs> you beat the game. Nice. Nice. Great, great. We found Bob. We found Bob. There he is. Awesome. Awesome. I oops, escape apparently escape completely exits the game. Fantastic little entry. I had so much fun with that one. Um, ambitious to make a rhythm game. Absolutely, absolutely ambitious. I want to see if we can get um, this project to load up here. I would love to see if we could do this. Let me let me see if I have it here. It's on a. It's going to be a really old version of it. Music was awesome. Gameplay was awesome. Dungeon was a little bit big. I would you um. My advice, uh, rhythm game already exists apparently. Rhythm. All right. Um, I wonder, already up to date? Okay. Let's see if we can add this into, I'm gonna reclone this. I don't know if this is actually the right repository. Um, all right. We're gonna remove, we're gonna just reclone this, make sure it's the right one. Um, so a, a few notes before I get too distracted. A few notes. Um, for a jam game to make a map that big is okay as long as the game has a lot of variety. A lot of it was just wandering through a big empty map, right? So there's a lot of wandering through a big empty map. So you want to keep in mind, and, and this happens so often, 
Yeah, XTC, this happens so often that you have so much stuff planned for your game that, and then you run out of time. So my, in my experience over the last year of doing game jams is trying to make my scope as small as possible. And then if I finish that small thing, then growing it outward, then growing it outward. So that would be one area I think could be really improved. Um, I loved the rhythm game. Uh, rhythm game was really, really nice. Um, I think you should start the player with the map earlier. Oh, you start the player with the map or make it so you find the map after the first or second fight. Because once I found the map, the game, I was able to progress pretty quickly. And so I actually think that would have reduced the amount of time it took me to beat the game and feel a little bit more like the game wasn't so long and empty. The, those are just my a couple thoughts. Aside from that, the controls were pretty good. I felt like the movement should have been faster for my personal taste, but not bad. Um, not unbearable. It wasn't so slow. It was unbearable. Um, yeah, solid, solid entry. Thank you so much for sharing with me. Sorry you have that that like game breaking bug where the rhythm rhythm gets you at the end. That that would have been nice to have to find earlier. Um, have someone who is not you play the game at least once before you submit it. That's another one. I had so I had people play mine, but I hadn't finished the whole game, so I wasn't sure how long it was. My game is too long. There's a few parts in my game that are really annoying, and then I have a hidden wall that's impossible to find. So really, really solid entry. I loved it. Um, let's check out my rhythm. Let's see if we can get the rhythm game that I was working on three years ago. Uh, so I can show you, hopefully I can show you the editor on it as well. And what's interesting is uh, it appears that I have more than one branch. So there was a tap sync, Angelina. So I had a student three years ago help me with this project and had her add this tap sync. I'm wondering if it's there. Uh, I like the Easter egg in your game. I just didn't like having to eat going in and leaving. Yeah. Um, yeah, I didn't, I didn't think about that when I added it. It was sort of a last minute thought. Let's see if we can get Unity to open up this project. Open project from disk. This is in my Jake Collard rhythm game prototype. Um, I mean, it, oh, what's interesting is it's not telling me I have to install this. I already have it apparently. All right, let's check it out. Let's see if we have this. Um, yeah, so I was hired to, so someone hired me to make this and I was like, oh yeah, this would be really cool. So I used to do a lot of freelancing where I could do less freelancing, but someone wanted to make a rhythm. Someone was like, Hey, I'm interested in doing a rhythm game. Could you help prototype this idea? And I was like, sure. So I actually got hired to do this. And at the time, the school I was working at, uh, we ran like this semi internship program where we would pay students to actually help implement these projects. So I'd go out and find clients to work for and say, hey, I have students uh, who are looking for work um, and, and we're gonna, we're gonna, you know, I will mentor them during this. We had a couple teachers. We will mentor them through this process, but gives them a work experience, gets you a product and allows them to see that environment. I was working at a, a high school at the time. So it was older students, not 10 through 14. So this, this particular student, I think was 16 or 17 at the time. Uh, who was working on this. So we worked on building out the concept and the idea together. Uh, it's one of my dreams. I want to do that whimsically made. I have this dream um, before COVID started, actually. I um, I wanted to start a school. So I wanted to start a school and I actually spent, I, uh, I spent almost all my startup money uh, acquiring computers and a campus and a place to do a school. Um, and then COVID happened and it kind of fell down on its face. But the idea I have now is I want to, to buy like a mobile bus. So a, an RV, I want to get this RV that expands out or build an RV that expands out and has like a mobile learning station inside where we can like drive to different places. We take students, drive to different places and work at a place for two or three weeks working on projects. And I said, all I was allowed to do was study textbooks and have mock-up exams. 
Uh, that would have been super cool for me as a kid. I've been coding for the last 15 years and I was nine when I started. Yeah, I have students who are like 11, 12 years old who would be able to easily complete most university level courses, including algorithm courses. Um, thanks, Nix. Thanks. I appreciate it. I would. Yeah. So there's all these things I want to do. It's uh, time is always a limiting factor, right? How much time do I have to actually make these things happen? Um, it's hard. It's hard. Um, especially, you know, now I'm doing curriculum at a different school. I love my, by the way, I love my current job so much. This is sort of the idea of building this program to have people work on it. As a self-taught dead, I've never ended up getting into algorithms. It can be, you know, so there's this interesting place where you probably have learned algorithmic thinking, um, especially when there are 47 gender colors you have to play through. I know, right? When we made, I think algorithms and data structures, understanding under the hood what's going on can be super important. And then things like solving those problems. Oh, thank you for the link. Code to college. I think I've seen this. I always, do I have um, OSSC? I need to make this a command as well. Um, while this is loading, let's check out the code to college. The open source university, code to college, thank you for sharing this. Is it accelerating the pace and increasing the proportion of historically underestimated high school students who enter and excel in STEAM undergraduate majors and careers? Nice, nice, nice. Uh, what was the other one? Oh, Open Source University. Oh, is it OSSU? Is that why OSSU? I need to make that a command. This is an awesome resource for people wanting to learn computer science and programming as well. Open Source University, Open Source Society University. The idea here is all sorts of free resources to get yourself an equivalent of a computer science degree, like a bachelor's of science in computer science. So it has all these courses, all of these free resources online to get you everything you need. It sort of has all the college, it's like broken down like a college credit course. Um, I think this is a fantastic resource. All right, well, let's skip the newer version. Um, scenes mapper. Let's see if this works. <laughs> I'm really curious if this works. So we have, I like don't remember all of the controls here. Um, yeah, it's been so long. I don't actually remember. And I didn't really know how to use Unity at the time either. Free aspect. All right, I'm curious. Let's go look at our, it's interesting coming back to a project here and trying to figure out what everything does. All right, let's go look at our scripts. Uh, controls helper. Um, beat mapper, update, let's see what our inputs are. I'm looking at, oh, you can't see it because the chat's blocking it, but I'm, I'm reading the source code over here trying to figure out what the controls are. Because this is, I haven't looked at this in three years. And I'm wondering if I need to use a PlayStation controller. So I'm seeing stuff about PlayStation controls in here. Have a beautiful day, M-E-O-O-P. Thank you so much for sharing your game with us. I hope you, I hope you enjoyed that. Have a beautiful day. Uh, I hope to see you next time. We'll be back tomorrow. The Odin Project is fantastic as well. Um, add listener. Beat map. What are my controls? Note input up, down, left, right, observer. I'm like not seeing any input controls. Let's try switching to that other branch. Next beat, current beat, previous beat. It might be something that I put on metronome events. Okay. Oh, these are just images. Normal note, overlay, main camera, beat mapper. Um, let's, 
oh, there's like these arrows at the top that aren't showing on because I, my screen is so, what? Screen aspect, like I clearly didn't know how to do, there it is, there it is, okay. Let's go with 19, 20, 16 by nine. I clearly didn't know how to do uh, UI stuff at this time. Okay, let's try this. Yeah, so I have my half steps here. So look at that, I have my half steps here and then it has these different notes coming out. All right, so this lets me map my beats up to quarter notes. Joy, joy, joy. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Can I hit play? The spacebar play. I'm curious. Thank you for the hat, Redeem Lands. Let's get a hat added to this stack. Let's put this hat on top, and we'll use this one to secure them on. We'll secure them on here nice and tight there. Um, is there a play button? Yeah, there's so much going on here that is, is really interesting. Um... Eligible for click. But yeah, you can see here, this does my, this would be 16th notes, this would be eighth notes, and this would be quarter notes. And I'm, I'm just like, really interesting. You never realize how cool the shelves are. Oh, I didn't mean to, I forgot to switch back to my desktop view. Yeah, we got, we got some games back there. Um, let me switch branches here and see if there's more on that branch. Give me a second here. It's always interesting to go explore projects. Angelina Tapsy. All right, let's let this rebuild here. I'm doing absolutely wonderful, Lance. We've been play testing some dungeon crawler entries, and then we talked about mechanically challenge. So we're gonna be doing mechanically challenge this month. Moon is finally Moon is and I finally got it together. Um, okay, this one looks more like it. Oh, cool, cool, cool. I'm gonna have to find some music to add to this, it looks like. Okay. Yeah, this is neat. All right, set track. Oh my goodness, it's so small. Um, what resolution are we supposed to be on here? Wild, wild. Yeah, this is a crunchy file system uh, browser here. Let's see if we can go find some music. I know I have some music on my D drive. You probably can't even read this font. I can barely read it. It's so fun. It's going to music. Let's add in, um, oh man. Um, 100 Thieves. This is like the what I consider my intro song. Let's do this one, open. All right. Uh, corrupt, not valid. Oh, that's so bad. Tuber Tugger, have a beautiful day. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Um, do MP3s not work? Interesting, I wonder if we have to use only waves. Yeah, it looks like this is gonna work. I'm gonna, I really wanna look into this. I really wanna look into this. No, I, it sh we should be able to put real real songs in here. Um, audio flip contains no data. It's just that these are not the right format. Um, sweet, sweet, smab. Let's check that out, let's check that out. All right, I'm gonna come back to this. This is really cool. Uh, I forgot about this project. Um, I don't know what that happened. I must have hit something weird. Moon is we're there's so much winning. We're winning so much. Um, Smab, thank you for the link. Let's check it out. This site aims to write implementations for challenges posted by Mechanically Challenge. Oh, cool. Just a, just a nice little start to this. Just a nice little start. Um, Blazor WebAssembly GitHub pages. Oh, so this is off of a GitHub page. Yeah, yeah, nice, nice. I love using GitHub pages. We'll have to figure out exactly what it is. XTC, it's not MIDI. Uh, it's definitely not MIDI. It's uh, It probably needs to be MP3s, actually. Let's see here. I bet it needs to be an MP3, and those files there, I think, are waves. Let's go, um, I think, Kilted. These are MP3. Let's see if these will open. 
There we go. Yeah, they had to be MP3s. So now we have this music. And what we can do is, let's rewind it. We'll sync this track. So it's three, two, one. Okay, I need to rewind it here. We're gonna stop, we're gonna start over. Cause I didn't, I didn't understand the, the tempo. So we're doing a syncing. You see the little yellow bar down at the bottom? That is tracking the beat that I'm tapping as I go through. And I'm gonna stop it early at 60 seconds. Okay, so this is syncing that track in. Okay, so now we can actually add in Let's say at beat one, uh, let's listen in. We can, we can like listen to it now. Right there at 12, I want to add in that we have to press the, these will come out at 12. And then let's go, these will come out at 13. These will come out at 14. All right, now let's, now let's re-listen to it. Twelve, four. So this is how I built this little rhythm game here. Yeah. So the tracker is you press tap, you tap the beat there, so to to get the syncing perfect, so that those notes line up with the music as like notes. Those beats line up with the music as you go, and then you can add in a bunch of different uh, type of things. So there's like these holds you can add in the stuff. So this was a really cool project I did three years ago, and there's like a bunch of different types of moves as well. So let's go to 16, we'll add in a scratch. Let's go to uh, 24, we'll add in some holds here. Hold, and then uh, hold will be for four. I think that's how that is done. I can't quite remember the holds. Let's go all the way back to the beginning. Yeah, I don't, I don't quite remember how to do the holds, but there's something like that. But yeah, I built an editor for building out the rhythm maps and you could save this to a file and then load it and play it again. So a nice little prototype for a rhythm game here. Okay, all right, all right. Um, cool, cool, I think, let's play. Do you wanna play another game or do I wanna be done for today? We only played two dungeon crawlers, that's okay. Oh, I think I'm gonna be done for today. I think I'm gonna wrap it up here, folks. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. It's been a wonderful morning playing these dungeon crawlers. Um, oh, let's do one more little shout out here from Mechanically Challenged. I hope people will participate in Mechanically Challenged. This is going to be a... Um, a little bit of a competition here. More than anything, time for a board. Did we get a board? If someone wants to do a board game review, we can totally do a board game review. Exclamation point board game review for 3,000 points. Board game review is not quite what I'd call it, but show off a board game. Um, I'd be happy to do that. Um, but let me talk about Mechanically Challenged one more time before we wrap up. Muniz and I are hosting something called Mechanically Challenged. Lance, thank you for the board game. Oh, Whimsically Made wants to see Azul. We got some options when it comes to Azul. But let's talk real quick about Mechanically Challenged. I'm gonna do a quick recording here. Uh, so I'm gonna try to ignore the chat while I'm talking through this so that we have a clean cut for, for, our, um, for, our, for a clip. So I'm gonna try and do a clean cut here. I'm trying to do a clean cut here. So what is Mechanically Challenged? Mechanically Challenged is an event hosted by Moon Niz and myself, the Captain Coder in which you are challenged to implement a game of mechanic and share it with the greater community. In this particular month, April 2024, we are implementing dropping through platforms. So the goal of this is to implement in whatever engine, in whatever language that you want to implement it in, a platform in which a 
character stands on top of it and they don't fall through unless they press a particular button down and jump, maybe just down to fall through. Once they're beneath this platform, they should be able to jump back up through the platform and land on top. This GIF here, this little video, shows Dead Cells implementation of it. It may be a little trickier than you might think it was, but the goal is to have everyone in the community attempt to implement this, create a repository full of your solutions. So we'll have a solution for Unreal. We'll have a solution for Godot. We'll have a solution for Unity. We'll have a solution for any language you decide to do. And we'll put those into repository together and have this as a resource for anyone who's new or wanting to implement this for their game. So how do you participate? You're going to start by creating a fork of this repository. Inside of that fork, you're going to create a folder with your engine, language, and username. You're going to implement your solution and then submit it via a pull request to this repository. Moon is an eye. We'll look over your solution, see how we feel about it. We may ask you to make some minor modifications to your repository to reduce the size and structure of it in the group project. And then finally, two people will win the Educationally Mechanic Prize. The Mechanic Prize here, Moon is and I will both select our favorite solutions so that you can have an opportunity to win $50 for sharing your solution with the community. Moon is and I have sole discretion on selecting the winner. We can't select ourselves and we can't select family members. I will say that much. What we are looking for are clean implementations that show other people how they might take this and add it into their projects. So clean modular solutions are likely to be the winners. Where can you join and find more information? We both stream on Twitch. So twitch.tv slash the captain coder and twitch.tv slash moon is. You can also join us on Discord and join the discussion. If you have any questions, feel free to send them our way. We're looking forward to seeing your solution. Remember to keep coding, keep growing, keep being the best you you can be. You're welcome back anytime. And I can't wait to see your solution. All right, we got it. We got it. We'll clip that up. We'll make it nice. Let me add a little uh, little marker here. Uh, uh, what was this? This was mechanically challenged clip end. Okay. Let's do a board game. Let's do a board game. Uh, Lance, is it okay if we do Azul? Azul works. All right. I'm going to take my hats off because it's a little bit a little bit spicy to walk around with. Alex, thank you guys so much for all the hat redeems. Thank you guys so much for all the hat redeems here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's switch to the face cam. All right. So we have a couple different Azuls to choose from. We've got Azul the card game. Azul the card game. We've got classic. Classic Azul. Classic Azul. Okay. We also have. We also have Azul Summer Pavilion. Azul Summer Pavilion. We have. We have more options. The same glass of Sinatra. The same glass of Sinatra and the Queen's Garden. So I've got I've got the whole Azul collection. I'm missing. There's one that's about chocolate that I don't have. All right, we're gonna do classic Azul. Classic Azul. Very well. Very well. Azul the card game is my favorite. Five two one one. Technically, it's a game called Five Two One One, but that's my it was one of my favorite card games. Let's get a hat. Let's get a hat added on here. All right, Lance. I was like, these hats are too much. I gotta take them off. Lance's like, no, no, keep the hats on. Let's take a look at Azul here. Let me see if I can clear off my desk a little bit. Falling into an an Azul hole. That's right. Falling into the Azul hole. Sock hello. Welcome to the stream. I hope you're having a beautiful day. Let's get my dock cam going here so we can have a little little look see at this board game. A game by Michael. Kissling. So this is a puzzle. It's like a puzzle. I don't know if puzzle. A strategy game. Not sponsored by Azul. That's true. Oh, I haven't opened this box. There's like a suction. Have you ever? Do you ever get a box that's closed so well that the it's airtight? Get like the air suction as you try to pull it apart. 
So this is one of the most beautiful fun games. It's for four players, up to four, four or five, it's four players, one, two, up to four players, up to four players. The premise of this game is you are making, you've been hired to create a stained glass window. Uh, or, or put tiles on the floor or something. It, it, each one's a little bit different, but I find these games to be beautiful, fascinating games of uh, a little bit of strategy, a little bit of luck. And so you are trying to fill out this board. You're trying to put stuff on this board um, to, to fill it out and lay these tiles out uh, to make it beautiful. You're trying to make a beautiful board here. Okay. There's also these factories. So there's these, this game is played where you have these factories. It's played in two phases. So the game will start, you have these factories out and at the start of the round, the factories produce tiles. So you'll take these random tiles. You don't, you normally don't look at them when you're placing them, but you'll place these tiles down like so. Each tile, each factory starts with four tiles. Each factory starts with four tiles on them. So you, you randomly draw these place the tiles out like so like that and then there's also this first turn marker that gets placed out here so on your turn on your turn you pick a factory and you pick a color and you collect those tiles so for example i might choose this tile here and i, and I might select blue and i take all the blue tiles here and add them to my stock and add these to my stock Anything left over falls off and goes into the middle. Falls off and goes in the middle. So now there's nothing left on this factory. Uh, because, and then it goes into the section next to the first tile. The next person goes, they can select any tile or from the center, or from the center. So they might select these two red and they collect them and these go into the center. All right. Then they might take, let's say, um, these light blue tiles and these will go to the center the next player might select oh well, i want these i only want i want these two blues they'd select these they also take the first player token uh when they do that so the first person to draw from the center ends up with this token and you get a i think you i believe you get a penalty for doing that but you also go first on the next turn i can't remember exactly but i'm pretty sure you get a minor penalty for it and you go first on the next turn thumber welcome back to the stream Great to have you here. So this game is kind of beautiful. So, so each player will collect these tiles. All right. Once there are no tiles left, the players now place those tiles onto their board. All right. So now you have like these in your stock. These in your stock. And you're trying to fill out this board here, trying to make these beautiful patterns. And there's two ways to play. We have the blank board here and, and then this colored board here. Okay. And what you want to do is fill it out so that you, you match these tiles next to each other. So this board ends up being really, really beautiful by the end of the game. Is that right? Or am I trying to fill it? Let me look at the instructions real quick. Every game's slightly different on the placement instructions. Let me double check. And this out placing the yellow tile gives you, one second. Wall tiling, floor tiling. Double checking the rules here. Another thing, this game is relatively simple. There's like three pages of rules. A lot of games have more pages than that. So I'm gonna double check this. Nameless Coder, welcome back to the stream. How you doing, friends? All right. Scoring, how do I prepare in the next round? We draw more tiles. Uh, oh, what if they made? We should play on... Um, a board game arena they have it on board game arena we could also play it on tabletop simulator maybe we'll do a, a, a gaming stream at some point i'd love to do that um yeah oh oh okay so what you're doing is you would end up lining up so i might pick tiles here to play these like this and then what happens so i fill this up with blues I need to get four, that's how it works. All right, all right, on my turn, I take take my time filling out these. I'd put one blue here, that would fill this up. Then if I put one red here, it goes here. On this second row, I need two blues 
to actually fill in this blue space. I need three blues to fill in the blue space here, four and five. So it's harder to fill the ones in lower than it is on the ones in the upper. So you have to put in like colors here to fill this in and then you score. So your goal here is to make patterns on your board, right? So if you fill up these diagonals, you get some points. If you fill up rows, you get some points. If you fill up columns, you get points. So then you score in a variety of different ways here. And the scoring, I love this on the board, the scoring is down here. It says if you get, you get two points for a completed row, you get seven points for a completed column, you get plus 10 points, I believe, for each of the different colors that you complete them. So that would be the diagonals here. So really fun strategy game of trying, it's, I don't know if you ever played the game Poison where you're like picking, picking two or three and trying to get the person stuck with one tile at the end. If you cannot place tiles, they end up shattering on the ground and you lose points. And then you track the points all the way through. Super fun game. One of my favorite games of all time. Highly, highly recommend checking it out. Um, you can play it online on Board Game Arena, which I think is free. I'm not 100% sure it's free. There's a small subscription if you want to host uh, like private games, but I think you can actually play for free. Um, but I absolutely, absolutely love this game. It's gorgeous. Every version of Zol has the same collection process, but the board is different and the scoring is different. So it changes the strategy a little bit as you play. Um, thank you so much for the board game redeem. What a fun game. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed that. I enjoyed it. I always love showing it off. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I might show it off a little bit more. Really, really simple game though. Uh, the boards are gorgeous. The This game is just beautiful. Uh, and then there's sort of like a freeform version as well. So this is the traditional board. And then on the back side, there is a more, um, a slightly different way to play. Slightly different way to play. Awesome. Yeah, we should, maybe we'll do a tabletop simulator stream at some point. Um, I absolutely love this game. All right, we're gonna get out of here. We're gonna find some of the raid. So I'm open to suggestions. If you have someone to suggest, so we won't promise we'll raid that person, but feel free to suggest them. If you know, especially if you know someone who's new to streaming that happens to be streaming right now, um, I'd like to keep it in game dev, although we might go do someone who's doing some dungeon crawling games, since that's what we've been showing off. Uh, maybe someone is doing some board games, I'm not sure. Um, Nameless Coder, I know, I'm, I'm kind of tired today. Normally I stream a lot longer on Saturdays, but I, I'm feeling a little bit sleepy. Two nerdy nerds is on. We'll take a look. We'll see what we have. I think we raided them earlier this week, but we might raid them again. I'd be okay with that. Um, let's have a little look. See here. See what we got. See what we got. Oh, no. Yeah, I appreciate the suggestion. Uh, I was asking for suggestions. Um, ooh, ooh, Dungeons and Dimples playing Forbidden Island. Let's go do that. Let's go do that. We're going to raid Dungeons and Dimples. If you guys don't know Dungeons and Dimples, incredible, incredible variety streamer. Um, I can't help but go play, go watch She's board games. Particular offense to this pile of snow. Since we we're just talking about board games. Just attacking it with all of All right, arrows. folks. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. What Remember doing, to keep honey? coding, keep growing, keep um, being the best you can be. You're welcome dad, back anytime. No. I'll be back tomorrow. Have a beautiful day. We'll see you then. Bye bye.